I request to say good morning to each one of us. Good morning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko salama na Yesu. Wakati mwingine tunaonanga ni kama tuko salama na Yesu lakini tuko salama na Yesu. Na ili tukaweze kuamka naomba tuweze kuimba kifungu kimoja cha wimbo hapa maana tuko katika ibada. Katika program. Musingi wa dayo wa Na kwa sababu tuko kwa ibada naomba tu tuweze kusimama. Si tuko kwa ibada. Musi ndi wa dayo wa kwa kwenda pamoja sini. Musi ndi wa dayo wa kwa ningu kutaya yu. Ndiko wa dila mo. tukatia kukumbuka juu ya ukuu na upendo wako na vile ulimtuma Yesu Kristo kufa msalabani kwa haji ya dhambi zetu nani mwingine ambaye angetukomboa ulisema ya kwamba damu za wanyama asingetukomboa Yehova twanena ukuu wako ni maana pale hapa tulipo ni kwa ajili ya upendo wako na ndio tunaitisha uwepo wako wa malaika wote wakaweze kutusingira kwa ajili ya usalama Ukaweze kutunenea na sauti yake ya Roho Mtakatifu tukaweze kusikia kwamba tuko pamoja nawe. Endelea na kutushika na mkono wako na sauti yako ikanene pamoja nasi. Amani na utukufu wako siendelee na kujidhihirisha. Maana ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuomba na kuamini. Tuweze kuketi. Ibada tulio nayo ni nzuri sana. Ni kwa ajili ya kutupatia neema, ni kwa ajili ya kutupatia kuwa na safari njema ya kwenda. Tukienda kule pande zetu za mwili. Neno ambayo tunaweza kunena ni neno ambayo inatuimiza wakati ambao sisi tumebaki tunaweza kuendelea nayo. Baba yetu ametangulia na amejua ya kwamba katika mwenendo wake anasema ya kwamba mwendo ameumaliza. 
na ili neno la kusema mwendo nimeumaliza si neno rahisi kwa wale ambao wajamaliza mwendo na wale ambao tumebaki bila kuwa tumemaliza mwendo huwa tuna maswali mengi ya kujiuliza nasi tunajiuliza jambo kama moja tuna wale ambao walikuwa ni akina Daudi tunamwona vile alikuwa akitembea katika angano la kale mambo ikawa mazito kwake akafika pale mpaka akauliza akasema atasema nini lakini akija kujumlisha katika nyimbo zao na katika zile walikuwa wanazipeana kama kumalizia katika zaburi ya na sita akasema jambo moja akasema ya kwamba Jehova ndiye alisema katika lugha ya Kiingereza ya kwamba God is my refuge and when you say that you want somebody to hide you you know that you are scared and that you have no strength you need somebody who is supposed to help you and that is why David said that God is my refuge that is one thing that those who have been left should know that God is their refuge we have children we have sisters we have brothers we have relatives we have everybody there What we are supposed to know as we start the journey today is that God is our refuge. Sometimes we wake up and ask God, what are we supposed to do? We would have consulted so and so to do this and that. But God is saying that before you ask for that, tell God that he is your refuge. And again he says that in the book of Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. The word of God tells us that so do not fear. If God is our refuge, we are not supposed to fear. Kuna watoto walikuwa wanauliza mimi nitaenda kuuliza nini ili niweze kupewa na baba. Anasema nini wakati anapofika hapo anakwambia ya kwamba usiongope sasa wakati kama huu. Na anaposema usiongope wakati kama huu anasema ya kwamba mimi nitakushika na mkono wangu ulio hodari. There are sometimes that comes fear in our lives. Hata saa hii tukitembea Tangu wakati tuliposikia baba yetu ameenda, tangu wakati tuliposikia ndugu yetu ameenda, tangu wakati ule tuliposikia ya kwamba jirani wetu ameenda, uoga uliingia katika miili yetu. Na ndio sababu manabii walikuwa wanaambiwa na Mungu nenda uambie wana wangu ya kwamba wasiongope, mimi nitawashika na mkono wangu ulio dari. Bado Mungu anaendelea na kuwashika. Na ndio sababu nilipenda tukaimba huo wimbo wa kusema ya kwamba mfalme wa maisha yangu bado wewe unaendelea na kunishikilia. Ninapokumbuka vile ulikuwa msalabani kwa ajili yangu, lakini hole wake yule ambaye amjui Yesu Kristo, maana anatumaini. Wanaomjua Yesu Kristo wanatumaini ndani yake, wanaendelea na kuona. Na ukifika katika angano la Mjipia, unapoingia katika matayo Yesu Kristo wakati alipokuwa anafundisha pale msalabani katika matayo mlango ule wanane mstari wa 4 anasema, "Heri wale wanaomboleza wakati kama huu, maana watapata faraja." It's good to cry and mourn for our people because God comforts us. And that is why in African culture wanasema ya kwamba kama mtu hapo mlilia mtu wake kuna nyakati inakuja anaanza kuwa mgonjwa ama anakuwa na shida. Na ndio walikuwa wanapeana nafasi tukaweze kuomboleza na ku for our people. So wakati tunapoendelea na kuamoni tujue ya kwamba kuna pahali ambapo tunapitia. Kuna tumaini pale ambapo tunapitia. Na Joshua akasema ya kwamba nanyi msiongope. There is brother here, there is sister here, msiongope. Ya kwamba Mungu atawashika na mkono ulio dari na atawaongoza. Na Mungu atawaongoza hata njiani tukienda na atawapatia faraja itoshao amani yake. Tuweze kuomba. Mungu wetu na baba wetu. Asandi ni kwa ajili unatuambia ya kwamba wewe ndiwe kiongozi wetu na ya kwamba wewe unatupatia faraja itoshao katika wakati ule wa msaada tunaohitaji. Tunataka kupeana safari yote wakati kama huu mikononi mwako. Kutoka hapa na kwenda mwingi tunataka uongozi wako. Wale ambao wamonjiani na wale ambao wako kule wanatungojia. Tunaomba kuweze kutupatia ushirika utokao kwako tukaweze kushirikiana moja na yule mwingine. Tupatie kujua wewe ndio kimbilio letu na unatushika na mkono wako ulio wa hodari. Maana ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuomba na kuamini.
Watu waweze kupata programs. Watu waweze kupata programs. Ili kaweze kujiandaa. Omba vile vile msimalize program kwa sababu ya wageni ambao wamekuja. Ili nao waweze kupata copies of the same. Mwili sasa unatolewa kwa gari na kuingizwa kwa boma na kisha baadaye kutakuwa na maombi pale ndani ya nyumba na baadaye mwili utatolewa uje mahali ambapo tulipo ili tukaanze rasmi sherehe na ibada ya siku ya leo uh, Ningeomba kupeana tangazo hili Ningetaka kupeana tangazo hili Ya kwamba Due to the prevailing circumstances In our country And the prevailing epidemic The corona epidemic Tunaweza pumzika Ningeomba kila moja wetu Wakaweze kuobserve COVID-19 protocols 
Let us observe social distance. Let us always wear our masks properly. Tweak your masks. Ito nesa. Kilo mo we ito. Na bala we ilende ukwe dia. Ula iba kube. We mwa nenga ne mwanya. Nundu COVID is real. COVID is with us. And we must take care. Asanti. Ni asiani tu kunga ma. Uh, mwe wende no likwe nyomba. Na itu tuide tu wende no zaidi. Oni kukuli ya misis wa Reverend Museo oke. Okay. Atu tuongosi na wadhi hui na wamo sumbi wa dhayo wakwa. Tuunga mite. Asanti pastor Musomba. Nundu wa uvika. Thank you very much. Uh, pastor Ulonai wa uh, Francis the late. Uh, thank you nundu wa uvika. Oh, ni tuunga mitu ina wadhi hui. Na mwe wali kwe nyomba, pivo yoba. Tusimameni, tusimameni. Kwa ni mulika, mmeka chini? Tusimameni. Mosumbe wadha yo. Mosumbe wada yo akwa nengo kocha ya yu ni kolo nela ngabia weke we amewa
Okay, asanti tunauliza sasa Pastor Harrison. Sasa mwili umefika. Uh, wale tulikuwa tunatarajia wako hapa ili aweze kuomba na tuwepe tuwape nafasi kama dakika kumi hivi wa relax. I love tuanze. Hebu na tuombe. Tunakushukuru tena Bwana kwa sababu umetusaidia na umekuwa pamoja nasi masaa yote yamepita. Asante bwana kwa maana mwili umefika salama. Asante kwa ulinzi barabarani bwana ambao umekuwa nao. Tukushukuru Mungu ajabu kwa kila njambo. Asante Mungu tunapoendelea kuwa pamoja nazi. Faranja zako zizidi kukua nyingi katika maisha yetu na katika mioyo yetu kwa tukufu njina lako. Katika njina la Yesu tumeomba na kushukuru. Amina. Karibuni sana wageni wetu kutoka Nairobi. This is Muswani. This is the homestead of Francis Kaduli, uh, Francis Kemanzi Kaduli. We want to say thank you for having decided to be part of uh, this function. We want also to ask you kindly that uh, we have a serving point behind you. We're asking you that you kindly stand, uh, go to the serving point, be served with the food before we begin. Uh, we are just waiting for you to be served so that we may begin the function. Karibuni sana. DJ. <laughs>
immediately uh, those from Nairobi have been served and they have eaten tutaenda kuanza oila ama umite lobby makwithi amana nengwe leu na ni mami no ya ni tuthi kwithwa tuyambia ko a probably 20 minutes from now we will begin the function officially thank you Thank you very much. I want to give uh, the order of our sitting. Vila ambavyo tutaka. Nimesema hili hema takuwa la watu wa familia. Na the close friends, colleagues from Nairobi will also sit under that tent. Hema hili ambalo liko hapa upande huu wangu wa kushoto, mbele yangu, uh, wale wa familia ya ngambi family wataka pale lakini naomba viti vya mbele the first two rows ziweze kuachiwa uh, viongozi wetu wanasiasa ambao wata kongamana pamoja nasi ambao watahudhuria hafla hili wataweza kukaa pale ngeomba vile vile upande huu wangu wa kushoto the first three rows wote ambao ni makasisi askofu wachungaji watumishi wa Mungu waweze kupata nafasi yao kukaa pahali pale kuna nafasi uh, upande huu na nyuma yao walimu wale ambao ni senior citizens ambao walifanya kazi pamoja na Kadhuli Francis Kadhuli uh, naomba waweze kupata nafasi pale. We have senior citizens among us. Stars. Naomba uh, it's a forum for the senior citizens which does not also include teachers only. 
it has other professionals naomba waweze kukaa pale nasikia it is a bondoni senior citizen uh, organization naomba waweze kukaa upande ule tafadhali uh, we have other welfare uh, 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 committees ambazo ziliweza kuhusika upande huu ni wao anyanya ema ito atui alamo kie makumaku musuani ngale ya koko kuome kwakwa bayi ulu niboma kuikala we have enough seats under the tent utaenda uchukue kiti pale tafuta mahali chini ya mti ukaweze kupumzika pale na Mungu awabariki karibuni sana ambao wale ambao nazidi ku, uh, kufika karibuni nimesema upande hema hili ni la the senior citizens upande huu wa the senior citizens karibuni sana mnaweza pumzika pale uh, ikiomba after 30 minutes hawa wa Nairobi wakimaliza kula we will be beginning the function Though the labor of the olive may fail and the fields yield no fruit Though the flock be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls yet I will rejoice in the Lord and I will joy in the God of my salvation Lord we determine tonight with all that's in us that we are going to bless your name in spite of every circumstance we are facing we choose to pray we choose to bless you the great 
We have another lot that has just arrived and uh, I think uh, we have only 15 minutes remaining. We have 15 minutes remaining to start our function. Kwa hivyo wale ambao bado wana natia ndani there's still some 15 more minutes remaining. Karibu sana Bishop uh, Rev, uh, Bishop Kilo Karibu sana Viti vya wachungaji, maskofu, makasisi Viko huku mbele katika ilo hema on your right The first three rows Yeah. 
sanga mutange Ngingi sada yuwako Matatwa kukuni Tunatambua uwepo wa the security men Karibuni sana uh, Naweza pata chakula pale uh, Vile vile we would want to make this communication An official communication Ya kwamba tujue ya kwamba We are in the era of uh, the pandemic Ambayo ni COVID-19 Naomba kila moja wetu Tukaweze kuobserve COVID-19 protocols Keep social distance. Mahali kiti chako uh, kipo, ensure that there is enough distance between your neighbor and you. Uh, uh, sababu uh, security officers wako, naomba waweze kushugulikia hayo mambo vizuri. Wale ambao wamekaa vibaya waweze kuonyeshwa jinsi ya kukaa. Uh, thank you. DJ Oh, you've got. 
got to just be strong And it's a fight just to keep it together Together I know you think that you are too far gone But hope is never lost Hope is never lost This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home Then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me From heaven's open door And I can't feel at home In this world anymore I have a loving mother Just over in glory land And I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand She's waiting now for me in heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you Heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Just over in glory land we'll live eternally The saints on every hand are shouting victory Their songs of sweetest praise drip back from heaven's shore And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you Heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore to just be strong And it's a fight just to keep it together Together I know you think that you are too far gone But hope is never lost Hope is never lost This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore 
have no friend like you If heaven's not my home Then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me From heaven's open door And I can't feel at home In this world anymore I have a loving mother Just over in glory land And I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand. She's waiting now for me in heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just over in glory land, we'll Saints on every hand are shouting victory Their songs of sweetest praise drip back from heaven's shore And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I... You've got to just be strong And it's a fight just to keep it together Together I know you think that you are too far gone But hope is never lost Hope is never lost
Hope is never lost. Hope is never lost. Hold on, don't let go. Hey, hey, hold on, don't let go. This world. Not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. Heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. I have a loving mother just over in Glory Land, and I don't expect to stop until I. Makasisi Mashaik Makuna Sheikh Katikatietu Karibu Sana Paul Bearers They have taken their position Thank you very much Uh, mwili utakapo fika immediately we will go directly to read the eulogy but before we read the eulogy we shall be led with a word of prayer to begin this function officially we shall, uh, we shall be led with a word of prayer DJ Chini kidogo tu Kuna mchi pale mambo ya ule mto ni mchi nzuri na ya kupendeza
Tanjia zilizopangwa Suri za dhahabu Tutauimba Limba Ya wa Musa Zote tukisema Kwa zanda hosa na Yesu Tusimame, tusimame mahali tulipo Naomba hiyo wimbo Tusimame, tusimame mwili unapo Ingia mahali hapa Kwa ishara ya eshima Na ufungue program yako Katika vit, eh, hymns Ilingi shadai
pamoja baba wetu mpendwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo libarikiwe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako asante kwa kuwa pamoja nasi mpaka wakati kama wa leo choba Mungu uzima tunajitia kwako twendapo anza hafla ya leo bwana ukawe pamoja nasi mipangilio yote tunaiweka kwako choba Mungu uzima ka nasi tembea nasi choba Mungu uzima nena nasi tumia mtumishi wako kama chombo bwana kunena maisha yetu jina lako bwana litukuzwe na limidiwe ani kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na atakushukuru Asante kila mtu anapoenda kukaa. Ah uh, tunaomba MC uh, my fellow MC aweze uh, kuendelea. Asante. Asante uh, sana. Nataka uh, kuchukua fursa hii kukaribisha kila mmoja wenu. Everybody who has who is gathered here today to celebrate the live of our departed friend Francis Kimandi Kaduli we are gathered today here to celebrate his life the family is all inside we have friends from Nairobi we have colleagues of his children we have the retired generals together with us the brothers and sisters are together with us we also have honorable bernard kitungi together with us today and not forgetting the pastoral team led by bishop kilo ngenga kila moja wetu akajihisi akiwa mahali ambapo panafaa tunawakaribisha siku ya leo ningetaka tukaanze rasmi ibada hii ya kupumzisha mwili mabaki ya ndugu yetu Francis na ningeomba tukaweze kusikia the eulogy of our departed friend the life that he lived i want to call upon rachel siombua to come forward to read the eulogy rachel karibu sana ah uh, to uh, everybody yote atakaye kuwa kija hapa tutatumia kipasa kile that microphone we shall be always be using uh, that microphone don't touch the microphone usiguse tumia ikiwa tu mahali lipo eulogy of late francis kimandi introduction we would like to begin by thanking everyone for coming to celebrate the life and moments of our late dad Francis Kimandi commonly known as Idoko Kabonocha Kaka governor or keke to different persons We would like to begin by thanking everyone for coming to celebrate the life and moments of our late dad Francis Kimandi commonly known as Idoko Kabonocha Kaka governor or keke to different persons that he related with He was the most peace loving jovial and wisest person we ever knew A famous kamba saying is that Mondo edika edayo and true to that word it is evident enough today by the size of this gathering despite the current ch challenges of our time but Francis Kimandi Kaduli was born on 6th October 1946 in Muswani village Kidalani area in Mwingi sub county of Kitui county He was the second born of the late Joseph Kaduli Ngambe and the late Naomi Siombua Kaduli He was a stepson to the late Alice Ngami Kaduli and Damaris Visa Kaduli 
He was brother to Damaris Motoa, late Diana Motedia, Dorothy Motei, Elizabeth Mbute, Julius Ngoi, late Zap Samuel Nzioli, Philip Mbuvi, Daniel Mosili, Jane Kiromi, Harrison Kitona, Alexander Nzomo, the late Josephine Kekwa, Benson Kangalicha, Joyce Kalunda, and Mary Mwende. Education. The late Francis was enrolled at Kabaini Primary School in 1956 and completed CEE, Common Entrance Examination, in 1959, later proceeded to Chome Intermediate School from 1960 to 1963, where he sat for his KAPE, Kenya African Primary Examination, the same year and excelled. Among his contemporaries studying at the same time were the late Mwendo Maneki Seve, the late Mbondo Solomon, Kemanga Linda, Zembendumbo, amongst others. He taught as untrained teacher at Kabaini Primary School in 1964 before proceeding for teacher's training to Kitui at Motuni Teachers Training College between 1965 between 1965 and 1966. Work and career. After training, he was posted in the year 1967 and taught in various schools throughout his 35-year career before retiring in 2001. These were Kabaini Primary School 1967, Murwana Primary School 1969, NCO Primary School 1970, Ngoko Primary School 1975, Tiaka Modale Primary School 1980, Migwani ASC Primary School 1989, Migwani DB Primary School 1991, and Moswani Primary School 2001. In 1992, our dad ventured into teacher leadership and together with others, pioneered in creation of now Giant Kitui Teacher Sako as the first chairman. Leading in the formative years between 1992 and 1993, before serving as the first executive secretary of NAT, Mwingi Branch in 1994, serving up to 2000 when he retired from teacher politics and teaching in 2001. Family life. Francis got married to Mary Mwende on 19th April 1981. Together, they were blessed with four children namely Patrick Kaduli, the late Rispas Yombua, Frederick Mitao, and Rachel Moto. He was blessed with a daughter-in-law, Faith Moeni, a grandchild, Rispa Mwende Mitao. Community life. After retirement in 2001 to date 2021, our dad ventured into many community-based activities and was active up to his last day. Examples of these are, one, he was a founder of member of Mwingi Horticultural Farmers Cooperative Society, where he worked as a secretary and committed member up to the last day. Two, he was active in the formation of Mwingi West Dairy Farmers Union, where he diligently served as a secretary. Three, he was also an active community member many times serving as a consultant of repute in family matters and helping forge harmony amongst community members, members despite serving in the Council of Kamba, Kamba elders of Kitui region. He emitted wisdom, knowledge, and great counsel whenever he met people and sat socially with others in public houses, clan and tribe meetings, and in general fora amongst people. He was thus nicknamed governor due to his influence and support for those around him, spiritual life. Our dad was baptized in the year 1966 at Kabaini ASC Church together with his mother, Alice Ngami, and his sister, Damaris Motoa. He remained an active member in the local Moswani ASC Church where he was in the local church development committee in the 90s and remained committed until his demise. He was attending church religiously up until 2018, after which he developed feet problems that barred him from physically attending but formed a special bond 
with pastors of the church in the local community, praying many times at home to keep his spirits high. Memories. Dad was a very humorous man, especially after he had a bit to drink. He would make merry and dance to the tunes of their wedding with mom. He gave his family good counsel, especially when in good moods explaining family ties to his younger family members. He kept saying the lure word, erokamano, asking what anyone needed so that he could provide, always saying all was well. He was always ready to sacrifice anything for his family, even at his age. Illness. The death of our dad has shocked us because he never got ill for long. We have never seen him admitted in any hospital at any point of his life. It was a one-day sickness that sank him and we are totally devastated. He left us on the same day he went to hospital in Mwingi while on his way to Nairobi on referral. It is sad, but we leave the rest to Jehovah and say, may our dad rest in peace, Eroka Mano. Awesome, awesome. It has been represent, uh, presented like uh, one in the media house reading a newscast. That's excellent. That is the life of a brother, a departed brother, Francis Kimandi Kaduli. That is the life that he lived. Now, when you look into our programs, uh, there is a translation for the same, for those who cannot understand that language that has been read. Okay. Uh, ne muso me akwa ke kamba maisha ma motiwa ah nienda kwanze na utongea kila mo mubea nondo wa koka to shereke evinda ya ida waito francis kimanthi olo na etawa kana na eseke eta ithuku kavono cha kaka gavana kana keke kwandwa inga lao na kala na chama anaye mwendi wa mugo e motanu na ena kwe mwinge ah uh, ah uh, ndeto isi wa yake kamba kana mundu edhika edha yu ni ukweli kwa anduwa yonze na ni ukwa na kasuo kwa nana na ikundi la yuki ya eh. ah uh, kumba na naitu evi indageno ya maumu mwa wawu kusia wa kwake Francis Kimanthi Kaduli, asiu matuko thazato mwe kumi mwaka wa miongwa na thazato musowa, utuwa musowani, ula watu wakitha alani, muinge sub-county ya kitui county. Hai mwana wakele wa mototia Joseph Kaduli ngambe, mototia na umisio mbuka Kaduli. Na anai na aina ainya ake ange, mototia Alice ngami, na ainya ake ungewe tawandamari sivisa Kaduli. Ana he asia newe na damari zimotoa mototi yanda yana motai dia Dorothy motai Elizabeth Mbute Julia Singoi mototi yanzioli Philip Mbubi Daniel Musili Jenny Kirumi Harrison Ketona Alex Nzomo na mototi ya Joseph mototi ya Joseph kekwa Benson Kanga Alicha Joyce Kalonda na Mary Mwende kusoma mototi ya Francis alikia skulu waka wa in primary school mwaka wa miongwa tano wa thanzato na haa minasi hii kana kisomo cha kwanzea mwaka wa miongwa tano wa kenda na hende haa ndaya adhi chome skulu wetu wa chome intermediate kuma mwaka wa miongwa thanzato kufika miongwa thanzato na itatu wala wekie mutiani wa kape wala wae wako mina primary na wala wawasie na esa mwono Ala wa asoma na mwe vinda keu ne mototi ya muendwa muaniki sabe mototi ya mbuto salomoni kemanga linda zembe ndumbo na ange ya inge uh, ne wa asome thisye ne wa anzea kusome thia hata enda ta college anzea kusome thia kaba in primary school mwaka ngili mwema na kandami yungo thazatu na inya 
na ende asioka adhi adhi kusome awa limo kitui mutuni teachers college kwanza mwaka miongo thanza tu na itano kufika miongo thanza tu na thanza tu kuthukuma etina wa training ni waanzia wa mwaka wa miongo thanza tu wa mwanza na aso wamethia school mbenge evinda nika keka uthukumi kila kina hake miaka miongo wa tatu na etano ata na arita ya mwaka wa angilile na mwa school ila aso wamethia siya ni kava ini primary school miongo thanza tu wa mwanza Moro ana primary miongo thanza tu wakenda. Enzio primary mwaka miongo mwanza. Nguku primary mwaka miongo mwanza na itano. Tiaka mwadhale mwaka miongo nyanya. AIC primary. Meguwa ni AIC primary miongo nyanya wakenda. Meguwa ni DEB primary miongo wakenda na emwe. Na musuwa ni primary mwaka wangilile na emwe. Mwaka wa... Mgili mwema anakenda miyokanda na hile Ede wito ni walikie otongo iwa limo Na pamwe na ange maanzelelia Kituwi teacher sako Na ede watewe chama ni wambe Na atongo ese miyaka ni ya kwanzesia Kikundi kucha sako kume miyaka miyoko kenda na hile Kuka miyoko kenda na itato Bala Wazio kie ede wa ee sekutari monene Evi tina wabu kwa siyokia dhuwasa kutari mwenene wa NAT. Kila cha makinene cha limo mwaka wame kukanda na inya. Na keto ongoe siya mbaka mwaka wangilile. Wala waritaye kuma siya sani siya limo na adho moya wea. Wawo some di angilile na mwa. Maisha maa mamu siya kana family. Francis ni watuwa anie na Mary Mwende matukwe kumi ya kenda mwe wakana mwaka wame kukanyanya na mwa. Pamwe, ni mana ema adhimi wana siyana inya. Patrick Kaduli, mototi ya Riz Pasio Mbua, Frederick Metao, na Recho Motuo. No na adhimi ito na mkaa mwana, Faith Mweni, na nzoko Riz Pamwende Metao. Maisha ma etuani. Etina wa aritaya mwaka wangilile nemwe, kuka mwaka wangilile miongwele nemwe, edhe wito, Nuwa alikie maundu mainge maa kenduwani na anaa hee mokasa numono mbaka mwedhenya wa mwisho. Maundu wa mweta asune takwede lwa ee mwanzele lwa kekundi cha aemi maa matunda kumu inge na ee lwa ee mwandiki mwenene na wakwe kwa atu wa kekundi ni keumba kandatika ya mwisho. Anaa hee ee mokasa numono katika uemi wa aemi maa geia na ase uvya kekundi cha aemi maa geia kumu inge na kito ongoezia neza emu andiki mwenene anagi oso anagi emu kasa ni mwono maundu ni mandwa na mavinda mainge ato ongoezia tamundu wakula suwa mawoni bala bedhu wana hithokozi ya kemisi na kutethe zi andu kukwati ania bala bedhu wana vena kwe manwa na anagi mutongo yu mwenene wa atumea maa okamba ni kilungu ni keicha kitui ano na nenga na umanyi na uwe na kukaa ni andu mwono wala wako manana mwono na wala wako lanzi na mwono katika makoma ni oni mwonze maki mbae na etuwa na nunaikia nunaenda andu mwono na nivo watuye wezi roge hakuwe tuwa ngavana nundu wa hakuwe thilwa ena utongo siyosu maisha mwa utangio ethe wito ni wabatisi wa mwaka wa miongo thanzatu wa thanzatu ikanisa ni AIC kapa ini pamwena inya wake ola weta wangami na mwetu inya ola weta wanda marisi motwa no neka liye emu ndu mkasa ni mwono katika ikanisa gaga gaba amusu wa ni AIC wala unaenda na nethe lao katika komiti ya maendeo kume miaka ya miongo thanzato, miaka ya miongo kenda, mbaka eza ototia. No, naenda kanisa ni ate otea, mbaka mwaka wangilile na kumia nyanya, wala wedhiliwe na dhina wa mao, wedhia ntonya utembe anga, lakini ya za kwedhiliwa, emu ndo wekala niti na mapasta na esa, na maende ya nisye, mehe mwe, mehivo ya mabinda mainge. Haa, 
maundo maulili kana ede witu anahe mundu wa ode chandu mono sana sanela wakunda kaindo no na tana na kwina na kodolili kania ambadi sia mutwano na mama no na ta family yake no na ta family yake mono na kumata pia utianyo wo na ndwa lange no na kala to mi andeto ya kenja luo erokamano aikulia ni chao kila mundu tonya kwenda ni kana edelwe aite edi andu make na kwazia maundu monze no seo na na ge eta ya kilevinda kunenga ne kichochote kile no ndwa family yake ona ukuni wake kuwa ede wito kutoti yako ede wito kuna tuta ele milio mono no ndo tuya mwona emu wawu wa ebinda gaza na tuya mwona ebinda emwe akomete sivitali maisha ni make una ee wawu wa mwedenya umwe ula una atuiki ya unduni una tuta ele milio mono na atuti ya omwedenyosu ula wa atuwe sivitali mwinge na atuwa etu alivaro ilobi atuti ya ni wasi omunene no tele munene kwa yova lakini tuyasia moya ina muye bandu faseo erokamano thank you asandeni sana uh, ukiangalia katika program yetu inasema church service na presiding pastor bishop ametuuliza ili tuweze kuwa na a uh, praise kidogo ambayo tuta tutaongozwa na Naomi Abel kwa hivyo tunamuita aweze kukuja uh, shortly then from there we will introduce uh, pastors and bishops who are among us so welcome asifiwe hata kama tuko tunaambia kwamba tushukuru kwa kila jambo ni wakati wa kumsufu Mungu ni wakati wa kumpa Bwana sifa na kumrudishia shukrani zake kwa hivyo ningetaka tu kuwauliza tukaweze kusimama tukaweze tu kumpa Bwana sifa maana kwa kila jambo tunaambia kwamba tumshukuru Bwana kwa hivyo tutapiga makofi tutaimba na baadaye tutaimba worship tusimame tusimame mahali tulipo tusimame tusimame we are celebrating the life
nishike mkono bwana nishike mkono bwana nishike mkono bwana nishike mkono nishike mkono bwana Mwambie Mungu jambo. Kuhusu familia hii ambayo imeachwa. Watoto ambao wameachwa. Dugu na dada ambao wameachwa. Mwambie Bwana jambo. Mwambie jambo. Mwambie wafariki. Ya Bwana kaingie katika kila mambo. Mambo ya familia, mafariki mioyo ya watendo ambao wameachwa. Mwambie Bwana wakufishe. Tunasema ni asante Bwana kwa nafasi hii ambayo Bwana umetutunukia siku ya leo. Twasema wewe ni Mungu ketie juu mbinguni, watawala juu mbinguni. Umetawala huku duniani, umetawala hata kuzimu Jehova. Vyote tunavyoviona kwa macho, vyote ambavyo Bwana havionekani kwa macho Bwana wewe ndiwe uliyezifanya. Oh, yes. Na siku ya leo Bwana tumekuja mbele zako tukiungama dhambi zetu Jehova. Oh, yes. Tukisema Bwana atustahili kuitanishwa na jina lako. Oh, yes. Lakini Bwana tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya damu uliyomwaga msalabani. Damu inenayo wema kwa ajili ya kila mmoja. Siku ya leo Bwana tunajifunika na hiyo damu nikileta familia hii mikononi mwako. Ndugu na dada wote ambao Bwana ni wapen walioachwa na Francis Kadhuli Kimandi Jehova ninawaleta mikononi mwako I want to thank you because of your word The Bible says that blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted 
and today Lord we come unto thee for your comfort comfort every hurt that Lord is bereaved comfort every soul that feel Lord that it has lost the lost a loved one Lord we want to thank you as we welcome you as we begin this session to hear of your word we pray the Lord you may send your word in the demonstration of power and authority may you Lord send your word that will touch our heart bless the, the minister the minister who shall give your word give him the wisdom may the Holy Spirit speak unto him may you use him as your vessel we give you glory we give you honor for it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and believe amen, amen. amen. Asante tunapo tunapo ka ningeuliza wachungaji wachungaji wote pale ambapo mko muweze kusimama ili muonekane uh, wachungaji wale ambao umekuja shakes na waona pale uh, muweze kusimama asandeni tupigie wachungaji makofi Sandy thank you thank you pastors twave aha asandeni sana bwana wabariki sana wakati umefika ni wakusikia kutoka kwa Bwana na Amidi Stars tuko na um, Bishop Dr. Michael Kilo Ngenga ambaye ataweza kuchukulia kutoka pale na atuambie vile tutafanya so welcome Bishop Thank you. Makofi kwa Bwana. Sandy, thank you. Thank you. Uh, karibu Bishop. Praise the Lord. We are in that I were. Bana Yesu asifiwe tena. We are Yesu na hata iwe ingi. Kama unaniona nisalimie hapa hewani. We are then umbona mgeze sio baanza ebeni. Nikisema aleluya. Mara ya kwanza utasema ameni kidogo. Na sia aleluya kidogo. Mpaka ile ameni ya mwisho. Kama kuna ambewa kule kwa mtu sianze kukimbia. Nendai ameni ya mbewa sina wasia munini na. Aleluya. Aleluya. Bana Yesu wabariki. Mwe inamu adhime. Yafaa siku ya leo. Ni kwaili temo denyo mundi. Tuonge pamoja jinsi ya kujianda. Tunena nyeva mwe yuluwa kwe umbania. Kwa ajili ya kunyakuliwa kwa kanisa. Kwa onluwa kwa soa kwa kanisa. And I will begin from a point. Ni ambili ilia bandu. Which relates to the season we are in now. La ekwenda nya na ebindela tui. I would like us to read from Numbers Nendato kasome ebukune utalo Chapter 21 Musoa nua miongwele ne mwe Verse 9 and 10 Musoa nua kenda na we kumi I will read from two translations Na edhi usoma kwa translation ili And then my brother will um Uh, in that prayer in Kikamba. Na kwa ni hivi ku kweli yangu ngo aliola Kikamba. This is because we know we are people who don't know our language here. Ni kweli ani tu siku ya mama takuelewa kisungu. They don't know our vernacular. Oh na mai kuelewa Kikamba. And maybe our shushuzu are here may not even understand the English. Na amwe tu ala me ba na mai to matonya kweli ya matelewa kisungu. And we like everyone to benefit. Na ni tu kwenda kilo mwe akwate. Verse 8 says. Muso wa nyanya wa Asia. The Lord said to Moses, Na yeova amya Moses, make a snake and put it up on a pole. Seu vianzoka ile tamwaki umikie mutini. Anyone who is beaten can look at it and live. Na kukedhi wa kila mundu ula uyumwa amisisie akekalava. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Na Moses asya vianzoka ya udhuku na amikia mutini. 
Then when anyone who was beaten na, by a snake na, and looked at the bronze snake he lived. Na kweli wa edhi wanzoka ni ya umamundu onawiva asisi ya ilanzoka ya uduku akavita. These words were quoted by Jesus in John chapter 3 when he said when the son of man is lifted verse 14 starting from verse 14 we will read a few verses from there. And it says, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. That everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Well, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Verse 17 For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned. But whoever does not believe stands condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil verse 20 everyone who does evil hates the light and we will not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. Twenty-one. But well I lives by the truth. Comes into the light. So that it may be seen plainly. That what he has done has been done through God. The words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are precious words. And worthy remembering and meditating upon. We are all aware that this season is the Easter season. Where we commemorate Bala the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ. His crucifixion. Na, uh, uh, kwake, his death. Yake, his burial. Kwake, his resurrection. Kwake, and his ascension. Na kwake. It is important for all of us to know. Be, pata wa wa the words of our Lord Jesus spoke in John chapter 3. Our precious word. That just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, the Son of Man must be lifted up. And when the Son of Man is lifted up, he will draw men unto himself. We are gathered here and the family has chosen to honor God in this occasion to allow the word of God to be spoken as we lay to rest our dad and our brother 
and our grandparents. Tuidi kuya mwana sa ithe wito uma wito. Just on the onset, I would like you to remember. Tuidi kwa mbili ya bea unungwendo lili kana. The law says. Kana yoba asia. That whoever honors me. Kana ulawe mutaya. I will honor. Nga mutaya. But he that despises me. Indi ulawe mbutha esia. Shall be regarded as nothing. Aka atwe wako hitho heba vee. The record given about Francis. Na ndeto hila tu ata wea. Francis. A man we know Mwana sola tuisi. for a long time yasa. who has lived out of his sweat. And the record of what he has ever done is printed now here. Na maundwala wikite ni mandikitwe. Which cannot be changed. That automatically confirms the word of God in Revelation 14:13. Usuona nyokuana na ndeto yangai wanye 14. That blessed are they that die now. Kanani adima alama kusayu. Because from now. Ni kwithi akuma yu. Their deeds. Mau mawe ya mo. Follow them. Makamati ya. There is no more who can change when you have died. Behi undu tonya kwa liu lo amino kwa. Whatever you did. Kila weki. When you are in this mortal body. Ila wa emu yu nui wa ukwa. Whether good or bad. Whether nui ya musio kanamu dhuku. It will follow you. Uka kwa tia. And you can't change. You lived a life of laziness. Where there were kalyang lai wa 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 kutuli kamoko. Laziness. Mulelu. Poverty will out your family. Ukia ukeli wa musi nikuwa. But if you are a hard working man, in the way there we mundo we you meet you we are niwake. You will fulfill the scripture. No kani is your man. That confirms that a righteous man. Elama kuasi kana mundo mulungalu leaves riches for his children. Atia otiwa wasiana siya ke. His grandchildren. Na siana siya siana siya ke. And his great grandchildren. Na siana siya siana siya siana siya ke. It is important to know that what is recorded. Cannot be changed. Jesus was raised on the cross at the Calvary. Yes, no other you give Kabali Musalabani. And if he himself was mocked and abused, every you alone no 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 are the key when I no mangua. And finally. Na itinani in gave up his spirit to the father anenga neda yake kula kwithe what has he said we asiata moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness kana moses ni woke lilienzo kaweoni which was symbolic of christ who would be crucified one day ila yona na siak listo uloka wae okite kwambo ibinda ni ukite snakes we are biting the israelites because of their sin nzoka ni sioma na maisraeli nundu ana isio and to Moses because many of them were dying na mamu ya Moses ni kwithia aingi ni makusa and then he asked god na makuli angai to remember them akuli angai amalilikane Moses was told by the lord na ke yova amu ya Moses make a serpent so yanzoka a bronze serpent zoka ya udiku put it on a pole miambe mutini that is whoever is beaten by a snake nikendo loko mawani lanzoka if he looks at the serpent on that pole nikenda amishisha ebu mutini he will recover ake kaladai and whoever does not look at the snake on the pole na ulota utaka amishisha ebu sal ebu mutini will die akakwa in the application of that particular Yes. Kwa kukosa uh, undu ni usu ni kenda tutumie. Jesus said. Yesu e asia just the way. Otondo. Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness. Ondo Moses woke lenzo ka udukuwe uni. What we have read in Numbers 21. Okila to aso mama otalo miongoli nemwe. The son of man must be lifted up. O umwano wa mundu no mpaka kokilwe. That is symbolic of what happened on the Calvary. Uni wona ni wakila kikeki ka kubaya Calvary. He nailed on the cross. Wala wa kuniwe misumali musalabani. He mocked him. Na mama budhi sia. Even a thief was crucified with him mocked him on a king ikila maki ambitwe na kiki amubu thisia and told him na amuya no and what angi angi save yourself now it angi you were and save us also now to tangi but the second thief asked him indi kibengi kia keli kia why do you talk like this where we nenu niki seeing that no corner this man is crucified man on him wambe for what he has not done kwa undu taneka but we are here as criminals indi zetu ibata andu mavuku that is 
why we are crucified. He has told the second thief. Na yesu Tonight. Mundu tuko. I will be with you in paradise. And then he went ahead to say. Na that. For God so loved the world. And I own the and that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him. Should not perish. But have eternal life. Jesus came. Yes, okay. To bring grace. And I tell you grace. Means God's favor. God showing you mercy. When you don't deserve. Things you have done don't deserve salvation. But because God is love He extends his mercies to you That if you can believe in him That he died and rose again He conquered death You will also live Even if you die You will live again Today we are witnesses That our father Francis is but one thing is evident The spirit and the soul Very good Are with the father but what we are left with here is the body. No And if you remember what was written in the wall, the wall which was running round, chaired by Honorable Ben Kitunge, it was saying that we shall pay his bills in mortuary and give him a befitting send-off. According to Ecclesiastes 63, Ecclesiastes, Mutabania. I want us to look at that first and I'm coming back to where we are. Because it is important for you to know why we do some things. Ecclesiastes 6.3 Mutabania than that we tattoo. A man may have a hundred children. And live many years. Yet, no matter how long he lives, if he cannot enjoy his prosperity, and does not receive proper burial, I say that. A stillborn, a stillborn child is better off than he. Kebuno kebune ki 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 nik nikaba kuiwe. King James says, if a man beget an hundred children, edwa mundo akasi asi ana yana. And live many years. Na kuikala vya umia kami. So that the days of his years be many. Oke the amidenya amia kaya keni mingi. And his soul be not filled with gold. Indi da yowa kendo sueo sio. And also that he have no burial. Onande na adiki. I say. Ni asia. That an untimely birth is better than he. Kebuno kebune ni kaba kuiwe. Yani mundo ake kala miaka mbingi ake siya siyana yana na madiko make uke the eta mengoi. If somebody lives long and he bears a hundred children and maybe he doesn't have somebody to bury him like a donkey. He is buried like a donkey. Yana child who died at birth. Kanakana, kalakana, kakuite kosiawa. And was not given a name. Kana kukanda kate kanenge si. It's better than that man. Eke kava kute mundo. So I will ask you today. Ani kya kuliyo mundi? Is this barrio like of a stillborn child? Madi kwa magua ka ata makana kabune. Is this barrio like that of a donkey where we don't even sing a song? We normally throw it into the into the pit. 
Madiko a mabuata mengoi balato taina wadi tu ikasio imani. Why am I saying this? Niki ngwasio. We have incurred a cost. Nitu liki tengalama. To organize this barrio. Kumba ni amadikwa. To be able to sit the way we are seated. Nika natu kekale ondo tu ikalite. To hear the word the way we are doing. To kuiwa ndetu ondo tu kuiwa. To listen to the eology of the disease the way we have heard. To kuiwa thayo wa mtuti ondo tu ikalite. But above that I would like you to know. Indi uluwa uwe onu wendo manye. The things we are saying now. Maunwala tu nena uyu. Are of benefit to those who are here. Mena mba. Mena me. And those who might be live streaming elsewhere. But not the one who is in the casket. So how do you prepare now that the Lord is coming back? Do you just take like a dick dick? Where we cannot you rise up from your bed. No prayer. Paimboya, no worship, peiko vaiva, no start of the word, peiko swa mandeta yangu. I'm in your business today. No kwa mbizi ya biashara. The same tomorrow. Oh one. All the days of your life. The nyama nzia vaiva. And when it is announced one day. Na ila kwa tanga swa mwe nyomo. We are sorry to announce. Kana netu na kiebo tanga. So and so. Kana ngania wa ngania. I've gone to be with the Lord. When you appear before the Lord. When you appear before the Lord. Ila wa dimbe wa yoba. What will you tell him? Wow kamu. How will you account for your days? You live 20 years. We kali yemia kamiongo eli. Thirty years. Mia kamiongo etatu. Forty years. Mia kamiongo ena. Fifty years. Mia kamiongo etano. Sixty years. Mia kamiongo zamba tu. Seventy years. Mia kamiongo monza. Seventy-five years. Mia kamiongo monza. Tano tamana. Others are eighty. Angi me miongo nyanya. But your life has not been lived in a manner that God can say, "Well done, my son." In the day we are kali temu zamba. Then God regrets. In the over no cool no kuwa wo. He regrets ya no kuilila. No kuilila. Because you were born. No 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 wa seiwe. My prayer today. Boya ya kwa mundi. Is that the Lord may not be crucified in vain. Nika na yo vanda kedwa ambiwe mana. But that he may gather for himself. Nika. Men and women who will be received in glory. So confirm what I am saying. Turn with me to Revelation. Revelation chapter 20. I am sure Many of you have Bibles in their in their mobile phones. Lene seinge many men and Biblia simoni seinge. Others have their Bibles with them. Angi makui dem Biblia. So open your Bible. Bingo and Biblia aku. Revelation chapter twenty. Ubuani yomiongole. Starting from verse eleven. Kuma muswa ekumi ne mu. And the Bible says. Namani komasi ya. Then I saw a great white throne. Nanona kibila kinene kiau. And him who was seated on it. Kiau sumbi na ola we kalite ulo akio. Earth and sky fled from his presence. Di na itu siakia udio ake. And there was no place for them. Na vya one kabando basio. And I saw the dead. Nanona kuo. Great and small. Anene na nini? Standing before the throne. Munga mi munga mbe wa kibila. And books were opened. Another book was opened. Which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what had been done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it. The and death and AIDS gave up up the dead na that we are in them na kikuo na bandu wala mabeba ma akume kala shaumia akuo na ala maindi ni washo and each person was judged according to what he had done na masi lilua kila mundu kuya na 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 meko make then death and aids were thrown into the lake of fire na kikuo na bala mabeba ma ala akuo meka la siye kwa iya ni ya mwaki the lake of fire is the second death kini kyo kikuo kia 
na kione ya ya mwaki look at the climax sisi ya momino kilio even one's name was not found written in the book of life na edhe wa mundu ona weva ale akoneka andikitwe ebuku ni athai he was drawn in the lake of fire ni we kiwe yani ya mwaki while you are alive ila we thai you can register in many books no we andikithia mabuku ni mengi like our deceased miona is a member of ndeje ngutethie Mwana sauti tie ni umwe katika alama ndethie ngutethie a member of the diary farmers of migwani ni umwe katika i mima a member of the agricultural farmers i mima i mima matunda ma mwingi one time he was the nat secretary mwingi branch ibindemo ai mutongo wa alimu wa nat mwingi he was the chairman of the cooperative society of teachers kitui i mwe wa shadi wa kiama kya alimu kya cooperative society all oh, those books he appears mabuku ni asio and then uonekete and i am sure everyone here appears in some books na nini si amwe me ba mo kundu mone ka mabuku ni there is a choice which you make and nobody can make for you be kutwa witwia mundu ungi utamba kutwia because in these books wanaume wanawekwa na wanawake wao ni kwithia mabuku ni a aume make ya wani betisio leo kana tigo ni kweli ama si kweli si amatio akati ama kwiki atumia mo lakini vayu lakini hapa ni baabata kwa kila mundu ni mahali pa maana kwa kila mmoja ebuku hii kwitu ebuku ya dhayo hiki kitabu cha 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 uhai mundu wetu kisianga hii aonekana akeweka Mungu mtu anasiki Mungu anasikiza no, mtu mmoja. Weweka. Na you do your own judgment. Na wewe ukwidi and we see we muandike ibukuni ya dhai. And you shall know that you are written in the book of life. Kwaku we sure we ibukuni ya dhai ona wakwa. If you are sure that you are written in the book of life and you die. Ibuku kwaku ki utelemia. Death to you will not shake you. No ndo kwambililia maisha yangi. Because you've just begun a new life. Ni kama na mwai. To go and meet your creator. Wetele mudenya munene wa asila. Waiting the day of judgment. We are gathered here today but I want to tell you. Yes ndana ambiwe. Jesus Christ was crucified. Kabulika dei kaibo. There is an empty tomb. Kukusidia kana no nada yukie. To show that he is resurrected. Revelation 18 verse 1 Behold I am one who was dead but now i am alive in the universe forevermore i have the key of death and aids na i would like you to know and why you should not fear when you are a christian Jesus as the key to death he has the key to AIDS. So the devil cannot play around with your life. I don't know whether you are aware one time when Moses died. The devil was contesting for the body of Moses. Kanaela Moses wa kuye satani ni wendie na kuosa mwe wa Moses. You know he would like to take champion of our lives. Satani ni wende kuosa bandu ba utayo ba marumaitu. But the Lord not authorize him. Indinga inda ka mwitikilia. He has the power to death. E na binya wa kikuo. He has the aids in his hands also because he owns the key. Ni e na mo e e bala mabeba ma kume kala me moko ni make who believes in Jesus on the law we kia Jesus we will never be condemned daka asile lo nongi we will never die daka kwa nongi if you die na wa kwa only slept why ko ko come and then you rise up again mbe nyongi uko kila and then when the books are read na ila mabuku mabuano you are being given crowns for the work you did when you are in this body kanengwe ngo bia sia mawe ala wa dhukumye lo ai mwini if your name is found in the book of life now when there thy work in the new book ya thy rejoice my brother and sister tana mwitwasa mwana asa you will live 
forever with the Lord. Nikwidhoke kala tena na tena na mwe. You rejoice with the Lord forever and ever. Mukata na mama na yo watena na tena. Whoever believes in Jesus, Allah mwe kia Kristo. You will never be condemned. Daka si le loa. But whoever does not believe, in the Lord ta mwe kia. Condemned already. When mo silile. I want us to distinguish these two things. Nenda tu vavu kani shindu ile. There are two words that are very confusing to us wakamba. Be mdeto ile situbu bwana sivyo akamba. Believing kuikia and being born again. Na kusia wenge akeli. Use the right word. Kutangiwa. Kuitikila. Believing kuitikila and the salvation. Na utangiyo. These two words are confusing men of our people. Deto ile ni sibu bwana sia ndu mengi muno. And believer na kuitikila they say no I am a believer kana ni ni mwitikil ndio and i am a member of this and that church kana ni umwe we kanisen kana yengi i sing in the choir ni na choir i am a member of the women guild ni umwe katika kundi kya mwaito i am in the barrio committee ni umwe katika member ma chama kya madiko i support the needy I do this the other. That is very good. That record is in the books. Books for works. But it reaches a time. Enough is enough. Now unashema Ndiende ya kuida ngombo ya satani Yesu angwie I cannot longer continue to be the slave of the devil when Jesus died for me Noko kabawi and you come where he is Takana kake as his son O mwea mwea you tell him lord na ye apa you then na my sins are exposed No ka kwa kutete wakwa I have come to you as my father O mwea so that you may have mercy upon me Ozaje na isi yakwa that you may cleanse me Ne si to yakwa and my name in the book of life from that day we can begin to say begin that you are born again the first birth was your mother in the, in the power of your parents but the second birth it comes in the power of the Holy Spirit confessing and, and telling you your sins that you may refuse them hate and declare to change to become a new creature that day you are born again that day you start fearing God what is the evidence that you fear God what is the evidence to fear God is to hate sin and to turn away from me. You cannot say you fear God and you are still a thief. You can't say you fear God and you are still a liar. You can't say you fear God and you are still a fornicator. You can't say you fear God and you still hate people. If you love and fear God, like your father Behave like your father Talk like your father I admire the testimony of the children Born of this man sleeping here I read I read and I was surprised That they cannot thank him enough Because he was concerned over their welfare Every step of life. And that is a true testimony. By the kind of education he gave them. By the kind of environment he created for them. Our Father in heaven. Cares for us more than even our earthly fathers. He does not want us. 
to work for nothing. That, then that we do come amana. He wants us to work for him. And that we do come. And finally be received in heaven. Na etina ni to your side. And be told well done. Na to go where can answer. Good and faithful servant. Mus mus mu do come mus yo na we are faithful in a little. Why we ke kuna nini? You will now be made in charge of 10 cities. You ke do au sia isi and do am mu do come. Four cities. Ke do au sia isi and do am Example of the three servants, one brought shame. Gelekanyo ya a a a dukumia tatu umwe ete kibadukanyo. He brought shame. Ete ete zoni. One was given five talents. Umwe anengwa talenti ta. The other one was given two talents. Ungi anengwa talenti le. The third one was given one talent. Wa katatu anengwa talenti mu. The one was given. Five talents. Ola wa nengiwe talenti tano. Traded with the five talents. Ah, vuko midi tano. Got five more. Ah, kwa tiri tano inge. And handed over ten talents. Na aine kwenye talenti kumi. He was told. Na ewa. Well done. We can answer. Good and faithful servant. Mvuko mimi musi ona mweke ku. You were faithful over a little. Why mweke ku na nini? From now. Kuma you you be in charge of 10 cities. Ukedwa unga mie ndo e 10. The second one came. Wakeli oka. Was given two talents. Anengi we talent. He brought four talents. Eh te talent dia. Was also told well done. Eh one we can answer. Good and faithful servant. Mvuko mi musi wa mwe. You are made more of a few. Why am we given one? Now you be in charge of four cities. Kedwa unga mie ndo inya. The third one came. Mundu akana akana ku oka. Ah sia. I learned. Nina manye. That you are a hard man. Kana You gather where you did not scatter. You harvest where you did not sow. So I hid your talent. Here is your talent. Talent ya kuti. The master looked at him and told him. Na bwana amu sisi na amu ya. Worthless and lazy servant. Mundo mvuko miote vata na mu mu mu. Na mwanu yani ngombo nduku na ndulu ngombo nduku na ndulu you knew i gather where i did not scatter when we see kana ni kadha ni ni kadha balanda bandite da nyai kitie i have as i did not so nangu kadha balanda bandite why did you use didn't you use your mind to bank my money so that i may come and get the interest kwa wale leo tume akiliko kia kuke kia mbele sia kwa bandu ito nyo sia na boka kwa tosio. Take the talent that he has. Osa talent ilo wina yo. Give him to the one who has ten. Osa omi nenge ulo wina kumi. But as for this lazy, worthless, useless servant. Indi kwa mgombo indulu itevata itemana. Nanduku. Nanduku. Tie him by the hands and the legs. Miobe moko na mau. Yani umiobe ongulu. And throw him out there. Na oka muiki kunza. In the darkness. Kebindu ne. Where there are robbers. Kula kwe nengei. Madaras. Awani. And outaras. Asuma la la liars. Makenga ni. So that he may gnash his teeth there. Nikenda abe betani ya mayo makebo. Let me tell you. Kango tabi. The time is coming. Ibi ndani uki. When we will all appear before our loving Father. Elai di onde tu kadimbe wa ida wito lo tende. And each one of us. Nakilomo wito. We will be required to give account of his life. Ikeedwa akwende kana kunenga no talo wa yake. Ningi mweshmi wangu na we tell us in parliament they are being done what is called lifestyle audit. Na mweshmi wangu na nuko tutavia kana ko ya mbunge ni masia isu ba yola manu ikala. How you live? Undu ikala. Do you live within your means? Wa ikala kana na kilo kwata. Are you living a borrowed life? Kana ikala ba yuwa ta ukobe to bandu. We all will appear. If you are to kumila and tell god na kumotabia yehova when i was a boy kana naemwana ke how i lived when i was a girl ila naemwetu how i 
lived when i was at the university ila na university how i lived ne kaliyo when i was at college ila na e college how i lived ne kaliyo when i earned my first salary ila na kiye musalo ambe ne kaliyo and how i live now how do we call all one of us should prepare for a day of accountability kilo mwe wito ile ne kuyomba ni amuthenya wa otalo don't live a life imagining god is careless in record keeping nduke kale thayo ukona ngai tote kala ai ya mound wala kuika he knows we are here today ni wish you mundi twiba he gives us tomorrow na atuneuni account for it edwa we not tell don't be a time waster dukedwa mundu akwana ngebi but be responsible over your own life indi wethe mundu akushaisha thayo as i conclude na nguthi uminuki because i believe that is enough to marry our father ni kwithe ni ngwikie kuni kyanu kya kuchaisha we are here idyo ndela twiba iko kaonga mwakuete dad we loved you Nitu, we will stand and say alta ni twakwendete and we cannot thank you now because of what you have done na tikutungia mubya mbe kwa maundu ala wikite kanandu makaya siku kuma kwa senu zio wendie all people will celebrate and say it's better that he has gone no 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 na tunyamaze musibitu kwa sababu alitusumbua kama familia no na tunyamaze kibaloni alitusumbua kwa kijiji no na twikana twika alikuwa anatutendea na kututendea you can i max kia mound na tunapomalizia wake nela mbe wangai ukija mbele za bwana ukamwe hata utamwambia nini tuunga meitu boy Sim, tusimame tuombe What will you tell your father? Uka mutabia asawa kwa. When you meet him. Ila we koma na na. What will you tell your father? Uka mutabia ata. Will you tell him? Uka mutabia. I heard your voice. Ge ne wia wasia wa. And I responded. Na nina nene kiondo wasia. Mimi nitauliza swali rais. Nga kule kangu liye kule bubu. Wale waliokuwa in the Old Testament. Alama e bindani ya ubwanyo moko. Whoever was beaten by the serpent. Alama mama wani nzoka. Looked at the Bron serpent masia isi anzo ka yoduku and they were healed na mobo wa but in our time in the mabindani me to me meuma na dhambi ala mome 29 ama meuma na jambo lingine lile kanoko manundu iba dawa ni yesu dawa ni yesu je tutamwangalia yesu tupone ama tutaishi jeans tupendavyo tukamsheshe Yesu tuboeka na tukaendea kuika londo tukwe nataka muone yoni tu msise Yesu peka ledhayo kana tu ikala kimongere yani dai wa kimongere ni kuika londo ukwenda kile kicho yani tutamwangalia Yesu ama tutakaa na kuishi maisha jinsi tutakavyo na nondo bai mundu mwenye dai wako na kwa sababu hakuna mtu anayeweza kutambua maisha yako ebe mundu kuya mwia kuna mtu anamwambia Mungu diana dai wako tazama maisha yangu na nzisie nitazame edi abenzi ambuku onaiva kama kuna mambo mabaya njia mbaya njia deke Mungu nisamehe kama uko mahali pale wewe dawe banduli let ba. me tell you this is a very nice time kangu tabie ene bindesio hata hatuna maana kufunga macho wanabeiba tawa maana mambo ni mawili ndo maundu tumwangalie Yesu kwa msaada Tumusiaishe Yesu kwa Ama tunjisaidie wenyewe kana tuitethi na tuangamie na tuidhela je eh viongozi wetu mko hapa mbele ninawaona atongo imeitu mwana ninaona bwana nguna ninaona bwana mutambu naona bwana kitungi nene kitungi nge muona twa ile kuikata bailo musije Yesu kana twa ile kuile kelia maisha tumwangalie Yesu ama tujiachilie katika Ingo maisha. Ngo na Luisa Masamwani Mosi akumanyondo mukwazi. Ngo asiata. Najua mask asiezi jua vile mnasema. Tumusisi Yesu. Tumtazame Yesu. Nevinda ndia bika nenyu umati. Ngo asiata. Tumusisi Yesu kana tweka le maisha maki le chu. Umati mnasema tumtazame Yesu. Wale wanasema ni heri kumtengemea Yesu. Wainue mikono yote mbili tuombe. Alama kwa yani kama kwa kutengemea Yesu. Tumtengemee Yesu kwa msamaha. Ukilimo kwa, kwa usaidizi. Kwa utendo. Kwa uokofu. Utangi, kwa uponyaji. Uvosyo, kwa kusamehewa. Kwa kuwekewa. Hiyo yote. Maundu asu onde. Na kuomba uombe maombi haya nyuma yangu. Ni ukulia ukaboe tina wa kwa. Na kwa vile wengi hawatafuata kikamba tawaongoza kwa kwa Kiswahili. Ee bwana Yesu. Ee bwana Yesu. Naja mbele zako. Naja mbele 
kutekeleza nikikuruhusu nikikuruhusu uchunguze uchunguze moyo wangu moyo wangu kama kuna njia mbaya kama kuna njia bwana nisamee bwana nisamee male mimi ni mnyonge ana mimi nipe nguvu ya kushinda dhambi ya kushinda dhambi nisaidie nisiaibike nikutumikie nikiwa katika mwili huu nikiwa katika katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kuamini nimeomba na kuamini amen amen wacha tuwaombe our everlasting father sawa ito atene na atene in the name of Jesus our lord and savior sietwania Yesu Kristo i want to thank you for all who are here today ne unenge on the alame i pray for each man and woman ni boy and mundu me na mundu mo ka boy and girl that is our remember each one of them ola kali kanande to show they have chosen ma ma nyuvete they have chosen ni ma nyuvete look and to you makosia that you may help them to conquer sin nikendo kama tena sio sina na power manenge binya and the ability na utonyi to live a righteous life we call that you mulungu a life that is acceptable la thy wait kile kile a life that shall be rewarded in heaven thy look and nengo may your blessings abide with each one of us so wadhi mo wako ke the now father remember the family of francis kimanzi you nengo lili kana msie wa francis kimanzi remember the wife lili kana mwaito and the sons na siana and the daughters na etu surround them now by the hedge of fire madhiuke na mwaki wako so protect them from the arm of the evil one masobene na ola mudhuku that they shall live victoriously nikena makekale dha every day kila mudhenya may their lives be with joy kama dha yomo makeve no tano and a praise to your holy name na kutaya kwa shitwa yako in jesus name we pray shitwa ni ya yesu ni twa boy Amen. Amen. Sema amen ile hai. Amen. Basi tupigie Yesu makofi. Ni Yesu mbili. Na mbarikiwe sana. Na mkwadhi mwamono. Amen. Michael MC. Asanti ya Sandy Bishop uh, kwa neno la Mungu na asanti kwa kutufikisha hapo uh, tumebarikiwa Tungetaka tuendelee mbele uh, na programu yetu ya siku ya leo na pale pale tutaweza kumuita Damaris ili aweze ku kuja huku mbele na kuweza kupeana testimony uh, mbele yetu I will pray even in my darkest time through the sorrow and the pain I will see I will pray lift my hands to honor because Asanti Mati Mati ah uh, uh, be ready anapomaliza Uh, pia na wewe utakuja Mwana wa kwa kimanzi Mwana wewe mno Ne nini na isi mwana unaambiwa na namuokea ni na vata anaambia adhiwe nuke Na inga ukao ni na kwa kweli akavika na akasevya maundo vyo Nini na isi mwana wa kwa na kwanza ni namuita tata nondo Niwe wasaita mtumia ula wa ndo iye Nye no kwa asia tata kwa manesa na mungu wanga hii tuka kwa mana Asante sana Naomba the wife to come forward Please Kwa mwena ala mungu tedesia Karibu ni sana Kwa mwena ala mungu tedesia Yeah. 
Masi Masi Malache Masi will be upstanding and ready to read uh, the testimony on behalf of uh, the wife. Thank you. This is the tribute from the wife. It's hard to believe you're no longer here. Words cannot describe how this makes me feel. I wish you could have stayed with me, but heaven needed you. You are a remarkable man, dependable, loving, and caring, the center of our family. You had a very infectious laughter. You'd laugh out loud telling me, Muvenzi Irokamano. I will miss how we would sit together watching KTN News while I would be chatting on phone with our kids and friends while at the same time enjoying each other's company. I will miss how you'd sing for me our wedding songs while dancing calling me Muvenzi Maria Wakwa. How when I went to Nairobi, you'd keep calling and telling me how you've not eaten and that no one has been taking care of you, that you'd be waiting for me to come home and feed you your favorite meal, Ugali Nyama. You supported my ideas and development for our family success. I will stand in the gap for the sake of our children, whom you passionately loved and supported. Tomorrow would have been our 40th wedding anniversary, but here we are laying you to rest on the eve of our wedding anniversary celebrations. It's hard to believe that you're gone without a slightest warning or word of goodbye. Komane Samu Benzi. Thank you. While they are standing there, uh, I want the sons uh, led by uh, Patrick and uh, Frederick, those are the two sons, to give their testimonies as a family. Kindly do, can begin. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dad was a very clever man and could be introspective at times when there were serious decisions to be made. He never made rash decisions, but thought long and hard before giving me some advice that helped shape my life profoundly. Even as an adult, Dad inspired me, although I never really told him. He saw the results of my inspiration through my actions. Dad was there for me, supporting me through everything. Dad, your love, patience, understanding and uh, wisdom, and amazing sense of humor will live with us forever. Dad was a dwarky and a good judgment, courage and integrity. Dad, as your daughter, you welcomed me and felt comfortable as you accepted me to be part of the family. I never felt as a daughter in law, but a daughter to you. Dad was full of fun and laughter. Like playing and did his granddaughter and having fun with her fondly Colina Irunga Yakwa. She enjoyed the company of her grandfather, always loving and a grandfather uh, when her grandfather is holding her. Dad, you have given us gifts that are more precious than anything in this world. We will always be grateful for everything you have taught us. Thanks for always being there for us. Goodbye, Dad. You will always live on in our hearts. Thank you very much. Uh, Pat uh, Patrick, uh, 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 let's begin with the Rachel. Rachel. Praise God. Nakonini uh, Rachel, and this is my tribute. Do you have a special person that always no go to your back? One that no matter your weaknesses or the mistakes made in this journey of life will never judge you and will always correct you with love? That's who this great man was. All of us have known him in a variety of roles. 
I've had the privilege to know him as my father. It is within this context that I will speak from and share the greatness of this man who has left me with amazing memories and memories that I'll forever cherish. Tata was my biggest fan, the biggest cheerleader, and my greatest role model. He was always a phone call away and had solutions to any, and I say any, of my problems. He was the most resourceful person and I loved how you'd light up my moods whenever I called. He would always answer the phone and proudly call me, Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mwitwa Governor. And hello, Madam. When it's a weekday and maybe I'm in the office. I never questioned if he loved me or cared for me because he made it so obvious. He would, conclude, he would conclude our conversations by asking, when do I see you, madam? I miss you. And he would always say, God bless Ero Kamano. He always never forgot to remind his pals how he had an amazing daughter in me. When he called, he would say, Mwe to a governor. You to Ivana, maybe and you'd say, Mwitwa governor, you to Ivana, so and so. You'd mention almost all their names and say, To Ivana to enjoy, na ina matavia, ondo ebe etena niwe yukuti banki yakwa. Say hello to them. And you would give the phone to all of them to say hello to me. And later you'd tell me, I love you, and how you'd be excited to have talked to me. My dad and I had a very special bond that has spanned 30 years of my life and 75 years of his life. Our connection was and remained one of the heart, spirit and soul. It's almost impossible to put that connection to words, but I'm grateful for it today and I want to say thank you, Dad, for a lifetime of lessons, memories, and blessings. I remember last year, December, during my postgraduate December, sorry, my postgraduate party and my 30th birthday, he told me, uh, this time round, you're becoming an adult. To go celebrate Walker, End of the year. Mbuya kuyawa no kamia. Moka December. I mean Moka Christmas. This same round, your brother, Nzongo, used to call my brother Kaduli, Nzongo. Nzongo, Mita, and the rest will be there. Call all your friends, have merry, and enjoy without any limit. In fact, Made wanted to come, but he asked mom. Kambia, you with this yana Nikki. Those are adults. Let them meet their boyfriends, their girlfriends. That's how close I was with my dad. And he categorically told my mom, to we went to that graduation party and my 30th birthday party. But he'll share photos with us. He had a phone that had WhatsApp, but apparently he didn't know how to use the WhatsApp. But he would always tell mom, Mr. C really told me. And my mom would always show him the photos as the party was going on. He, in fact, told me, what present do you want? For that party, I wanted gift vouchers. And he called my cousin, Kasumba, and told, him, told her, take 20,000 and buy her a gift voucher from Swarovski. Him, he had never set his foot in Swarovski, but he fulfilled my wishes. That's how well he knew me. I fondly called him governor. And he would call me, yes, madam. He believed in me and believed in my dreams. He was never afraid to invest his time, knowledge, wisdom, 
and money into anything that I aspired to do and be at all times. I remember when we came home, we'd always have, I openly told my friends that we never leave this home without having a family kamkunji. That is the one that would follow up everyone's goals, everyone's resolutions for that particular year and would keep you on toes, including his sisters, other relatives if they were around. But especially for us, he would sit us down and take his notebook and literally write and ask you. He wouldn't go in any particular manner, but sometimes I felt Alikwana Nyone and would say, we'll start with you, Asi. So Asi, tell us, what are your goals? What are you doing? What are you up to? And I was amazed by how you'd remember without even writing any goal or anything that you wanted to achieve and told him, I'm working towards this. And he would ask you, he would, sometimes if you've stayed for long without coming home, or you asked me, I'm a governor. Lastly, you are here. I'm being okay, no, 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 no. Have you done it? Have you started doing it? That's how he would keep us on our toes. And I loved him for that. In conclusion for all that, small Kamkunji would tell us, Kenda tuikekalewa atu ya idol. Mom retired sometimes last year, mid last year. And dad had retired some years back. So he'd always keep himself very active and would tell us, tuikwenda kuikalewa atu ya idol. Tuikwenda kuikalewa atu ya minabuku. He would sometimes use that word. Ndiko nda kwekala ni mwana avuku kana lazing around. Nenda tu kwekala tu active and as we are planning to do A, B, C, D with Made. And we thank him for teaching us how to always have family time, create bond even if we didn't have time. We'll miss him for that. Thank you, Dad, for educating me and telling me that he would take me to whichever level that I would love to go to. I remember after my Form 4 level, he would always, the period between when you complete your KCSE and the period when you, when you know if you have to go to the university or wherever you'll go, he would always tell me, hmm, we to a governor. I'm the richest man in this world. I'll take you on Netherlands, America. You would, oh, I don't know whether, why he loved America so much, but he would say, go to Netherlands, America. And he would keep on reminding me that his resources were always at my and my brother's disposal. He loved order. He taught us order. He made sure we returned everything to its place. He hated in inefficiency and anyone who didn't use their common sense. Our neighbors, friends, even relatives know that anyone who showed some signs of stupidity, my dad would deal with them, whoever, whoever that they were. He would deal with them in an instance and to, he would tell them, wait a court I mean, you're being stupid, taking after who? And he would, whenever he uses the word, it's a lie, he would know something is very wrong and he would be up for msomo, kaneteta. Sometimes he would ask, when you do something, maybe a silly mistake, you'd say, Salai, okay, to know Wait, if you are, can you get on Gavala Kaila? Yanni, Melelo and Nani. I remember when I, was, when I was a small girl, he would call me back and show me how to make my bed neatly. I sincerely hated making my bed when I was small. But since my bedroom is next to theirs, he would always throw his eyes and see my bed is not neatly made, or it's a, it has not been made, and he would shout, Wasi! Ukawa! Kwata suka from this end to the other end. This is how we make the bed. 
He would show me how to brush my, sho my shoes, how to brush my teeth, and how a girl child should be. He would tell me, Kana kakake kalakeke dhyan. Like, a girl child should always be neat. His love for ugali nyama made me make it my favorite meal. I would remember how mama would make us wake up early, and instead of having a small breakfast, would make a full meal of ugali nyama or ugali liver. Early in the morning saying, Ukile imu imuka uwe dha kaduli. So if she would make rounds within the bedrooms two or three times. She would come mad. Ako ukile yabura kwa sa, ukile, ukile dha kaduli ndana ya, ni ukile. Our dad loved adventure. He and Uncle Bernard Munyoki would plan weekend getaways for families before we grew up and school commitments came up. That time Kadulu was in Kiambere school complex around class 6, class 7. But they, they would always have a way of alternating. Who will take us for the weekend getaways? And we loved that. In fact, he would travel the world through me. Whenever I went out of the country, he would call and ask, wanting to know more about the cultures and the ways of the people about that particular country. It's sad that he has left our family, sorry, he has left us before our dream trip that we, were, we postponed last year, and we were very excited to have it during their 40th wedding anniversary in December. Tata, your love, your patience, your understanding, your wisdom, and your amazing sense of humor will live on inside us forever. You have given us gifts that are more precious than anything this world. Rest in power, my numero uno. Good night, Dad. I would love to make some. Just a moment. Yeah, it is their day. It is their day. Thank you for being patient with me. In conclusion, it is difficult to describe just how much your gesture of support in our time of need and this loss of our dad meant. It is only with the help of you supportive relatives, colleagues and friends who have offered material support, prayers, thoughts, endless calls, Words of encouragement, etc. One, I would wish to acknowledge Aunt Alice Molatia for being by our mom's side since our dad left us. And thank you. My colleagues, especially the Kenya Railways team, led by Winigero, who will talk later and others who have joined us today. My friends who have become family, Mwenda Mutiso, Sony, Arnold, my peers, Mr. Charles Singer, Mr. Mainga, our boss, my boss, Director General Peter Mudinya, Mr. Peter Miner, and others who I may not mention by names. It's through your prayers, wishes, Messages of encouragement and condolences that we are able to get through this and give our dad a befitting send-off. Thank you. Thank you so much for reaching out through prayers and sharing your condolences with us. We are extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Patrick? Uh, Ikoma na obo wenyu Nabari yetu njini wote Ok uh, 
today eh nina na kikamba na nguvu lenye na kisongol mix because we are mixed eh uh, so we want to say we are morning but even though we are morning una kama mtu ana kugea tuna we kwa tio munene nondo uh, tata iwe kala miaka around 75 since he was born and look uh, we are all here apart from one sister that we had to bury uh, 10 years ago so he has lived his life we kali ya dai wake mwene na amina so we actually have no twin and deni nake mumbelo uh, i want to say that ana mbita mundu me kana nzongo umau my grandfather that i'm named after uh, he had a challenge with his eye he lost his eye much later after he retired from the army and zongo is a kikamba word for that and he would call me that alame se kikamba tume alama tena imese mundu ume manisha hata without elaborating <laughs> uh, i want to say this eh? uh, i can only talk about the gifts that tata gave us don't you know anything zelo tunaingia because he did not give us a lot of material things maybe none but he gave us great gifts that we can easily bequeath our children and our children's children this is very important because himself he never inherited anything from his dad but tried to live and emulate as his father kadulingambe would have wanted of him that is in passion for things committed and in leadership of those around him we mwene with apate kindu wako atakuma kwa kwa ithe ulawa musiye kindu oyu ne wa mundu ne ngwa nga plot iwa ne nga liwa ne wechao ve kindu wako atate kalabda kuikala mea muloni kana ndu ito ithe ronya kwitha enda na isu uzino wo utumali ronya kunenge siana situ kuto asia that is a great gift to us uh, the gifts that he gave are that I offered family leadership and to was the ultimate patriarch or the total man in our family and he would also he would always say remind us or to likanya atinda otu ya bai kwakwa bai kwakwa na alamesi anende de kwikala bandu ba ya be muti anende kwikala ba ya kwake muti he has been sitting under that tree for quite a while uh, since he was not feeling well na he would hold us in meetings and kamukunji is like my sister has just mentioned and you would include you would include all of us daughters in laws man dimonze me bakube all my aunties and kirumi e bakube and kalonde e bakube and when we are around we don't always gather under that tree and true to what my sister said she he would always have his notebook uh writing our goals trying to review it was the best re peer reviewer that we ever had uh, he would always review what we were trying to accomplish academic masomo maito then you could appear very professional exams and he had amazing sense of memory because you never lose sense of direction in the direction that we are headed na auto kwata kuoko na auto likanya gonze kila mundu kila abangite kwatha na kwika na kana iwe ya nisia kana ndaya nisia na ida mundu ndaya nisia omukulia wikata twikata kuma uyu kwendea icha wi nacho icha twikata so you would always be supportive we learned a lot uh, from him because children learn the best through watching and because he loved doing while we loved watching him do stuff and practicing we learned a lot siana siona ngeleka nyo ziona simanya mundu kwisila kila ithe wo kana kwisila kuona siana sikita kumanya sinubi kwisila kuona anundu akwithi tunenda na nuna bangi nune ka sindu ukwithi itu manya sindu bingi twa mwiloela so we loved a lot to learn uh, we, we learned a lot through watching him do stuff and practicing what he told us another gift he gave us and he told us was that of hard work and consistency was always talking about bidiamcho in doing things we saw his hard work and consistency through his commitment for trees he loved agriculture na masange ineka ukwithia tukalala nyitu na kalala nacha na tatamuno would argue sometimes 
ngumu ya isa sawa wika ne sa mboa mite ya kinetic lia na natoa kwa ti ne aitu kwende ya isa wa lakini masange okwithila ito kala ni sio munda ni muno would argue about this agriculture bit sometimes uh, because his passion for it was sometimes okwithia i'm thinking it's beyond the resources that are at his disposal or our disposal even geographically uh, <laughs> I don't work with them as I with that, you know, I work with it to call in a camera, but I would see his commitment and he would not waver from what uh, he committed to do. So his consistency and hard work is something that we all, uh, will always remain in our hearts. Now, to get there, to me, I can go Success isn't about talent, but it is consistency. We also learned life skills from him. These are the gifts. We learned life skills from him. Waking us up early, toiling us in the farms, all manner of jobs. Bride price negotiations. Okay, there you. A table, no end of me. Na true to that word, I've been sent once or twice. Ni we mwene ando bambia, ikukuka adhoni meflani, weni wodhi une namo. Na nundu wakwethi la all the time, uh, he was with me in the previous ones. He learned that I would not um, falter. And I would always follow in his steps. Na wakwethi ni manyete. Yuko umu nulo kweza kwethi la kuenda kutamu wetu wake. Ni vangu replace tata. <laughs> so you not miss him on that. Uh, he taught us abundizia kutuma vaskili, believing that we needed all these diverse skills to survive here on earth, despite our education levels, that we could attain through schools. This makes us relate with anyone right from a person that would be considered lowly in a society to being able to dine and be with anyone who would be considered a king anywhere. So because we learned these things with him, we could be able to survive. I, you, you, I could... I could Ungeza kabisa ndi na kindo. No no bevali, no ni bande nyanya si akwa, no ni no bero ndeka. Ona edya kisomo kidya kitonde ndedya. So even if we had a war, no kwedi la ikwadu kapyo. Through the skills that I learned from my father, I think we'll be able to survive. He was the greatest scout. In fact, he always reminded us that he was a scout and that as a scout you always have to be um, prepared for anything. So I think we really th lo lo love him for, for for giving us that gift. Uh, he was easygoing and peace-loving, and for those reasons, he had friends from all walks of life. He had friends from politicians, he had friends as Ivetisia Ndonyo, and my youth. He acted as a consultant in home conflict resolution events. In fact, in his death, close family members, he had friends from all walks of life. Nundu wakwithi la Betha bena problem ya kwa nika Na bena mundu utanya kwithi ya ena kinu kie mie Our dad was the one that would Be presented with those issues He would be the listening ear Na wakwithi ya would give great counsel everywhere Kwa huu, wanatukue ya Anu mana kuleza tukasi lewa makuwa nino Uyue dhea kaduli wadhi Tukeka na siyata, tukesi tukoko ungu wa muti Ndevo, tukeka na siyata, there is that Lakini na kwa siya Iwati yangu mba ino siye vano na through moko menu, we'll be able to do all those things. From him, we all we also learned how to speak, and that is public speaking. All of us can talk and ask for anything, privately, publicly. Idi ono tu idi tu ata tu tu ati wa tu yana with our daughter-in-law. We have mundo ute kuli dia kindo. Mumbi wa mundo uleke swa. And uh, and um, someone, some of us can go into leading complex organizational meetings or even politically speaking, we can do all those kind of things if we ever inspired and we ever if we ever got those kind of inspirations. I, I believe we are chiefs of the old block. And I think we are able and uh, uh, none of us here, all three here, has ever had any challenges in speaking for themselves. 
because his oratory skills were admirable, and we always loved him speak as we listened in public or private functions, and we have always tried to emulate him. So that was a great gift. Oyu, um, he also taught us a lot of organization skills and uh, being neat and organized. And that is in notebook, uh, notebook writing and all. And following through, as I said, he was the best peer reviewer. And while we thought these were just family ways of doing things, his friends that he had in various groups also picked him for organizational roles. So we felt inspired by that and we are happy because I think that is a lesson that transcended family boundaries and it went beyond. So we are really happy for that uh, in spite of our morning. Tarano na atubu nise kwe dia we tuwe brave na courageous. Sometimes tuna jokea na ke. Sometimes a tips you'd ask me no mbisi we? We no mbisi we? Ombia we ndu mbisi we? Ombia oh nye ne simba. Gumwe kai nye diko na hii simba na alame siwe kanyamuka isa ama dha keta waka loko. Gumwe no wanga waka loko we. Kaloko is like a a a a and was kako kako kanga ant bear almost like uh um almost a porcupine out out ngumwetu but he would say ah nyene simba then but i would say uh i was able to see his um usimba even is in his last moments his courage is something that i saw uh throughout his um one day illness even though i saw him deteriorate Personally, na moni aende kuwa mono, mude nyosu wa 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 hospitali. Ndau na niya kutese kakuwa ke kana ndau na niya. He never displayed vulnerability or showed weakness. He remained a soldier to us up to his death. For instance, even in Nizabila, zinko lika na ilato okie tu mama muinge, because we were referred to Nairobi, and the plan was I go with him to Nairobi. Na I was with my brother, and my brother was to come home. Na tuti ya ni Mbondoni, that was the plan. I leave him at Mbondoni and me I go to Nairobi with him. I remember when my brother saw him and you know he just broke down. He didn't know that his dad was that ill. Akitie kwa ambia kuya, kuya utatawe kata, utatawe kata. In fact, where they were ambia kuya muno. Na in fact, I remember in that moment of vulnerability. Mungulika data, data yu misi, jizi yu misi pinyamu ya, we mitawe, mitawe, iwe uge ya mza. Ni wogi ya mzata mundu muka. Na mitao ngulilika na akilia. Because, I mean, he shocked me. Because I thought, here I'm with this person that is very sick on the ambulance. But here he is quarreling my brother because he is crying because of him. Na mwea kai tatawa ya kwati ya uwa kwa mbaka na mitao kono ende. But you know, that is displaying courage and we never saw him weak and he remained a soldier to us. Um, so he was always saying, I'm all right, I'm okay, even when we were with him on the way. Na tuende kona, di kona ende ne samu nola kini, he never quite uh, showed any weakness or vulnerability. Um, in fact, he never struggled while he was dying, that is in his last moments. He, request, he requested that I open the car windows for him to get more fresh air as he was getting sweaty before putting his hands under his head and sleeping. I didn't know that he had slept for, for last and for good. In fact, he never struggled while he was dying, meaning that it was peaceful, it was peaceful, courageous all the way. He was courageous and was never hiding anything, in even his disease at the last day. I remember he called one or two people and you could say, and, he, and, and you could hear him say, I've been tested and I've been found to be positive. And he never got worried, he never showed um, signs of fear. And from these lessons, I would like to say, let disease not bring stigma. Come in his respect. Let disabilities not stigmatize those with them. 
and these are enduring lessons of the difficult times with, uh, we are living in. You know, disease, we need encouragement and all. Kuya ndume the ana si ana si na mamuda maboe te na si no bingi na androme mo bida si ana is not doa kuya they don't want to see them displayed. There are people with diseases and they are hiding, you know. So you never know who needs help. So I would say these are some of the things that we never saw from our dad. Na I would want to say in the spirit of his courage and bravery, let's embrace our times. Let's live with courage despite the challenges that we are in. We should live like, in courage like he did and with openness. This encourages people to come out and speak about their problems and only then can they be helped. Tata also left us another gift, a gift of family and friends. Uh, he left us amazing friends. He was keen on lecturing us on kinship ties and relationships. He would go to a great length to show us and draw us interrelationship diagrams and though I can go, and, and through that, and with those lessons, I can go to most places where family members are and feel at home. So, or you wouldn't need to say, oh, where all my relatives are, whether first, second, or that generation, I know where they are staying, I know them. He drew all these things. So, I don't want to say, 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 I don't want to for example, you know, like Mweshmiwa is my cousin. Mweshmiwa CNN is my cousin. But these are things that I didn't know. Na ona na manya tambi to tweka Mweshmiwa. So sometimes Mweshmiwa no na kiwe sini kasi. Tu wena kasi ni ana ma ukalasiya. Uno ma no tonya kuida kuidi kileja kuno tani yende. But him he knows. He has been trained. Na kwa ni na lesson si atata. So because of these kind of things, I've gotten to know all these people. I've gotten to know how to relate with a lot of people. Eh, but the nyomwe. 1993, if I remember, I was a bit young. Uh, told me, and the plan was to hand over me to, to the service uh, because the service, I was to travel with them to school. Moniki is here and he remembers that and Koko as well. And yet, to the Nake to the lobby and Sebe to the Nake. I got to have KSCBD in Nairobi. I was young maybe around 7, say around 10, when we go to Nairobi CBD at 6.30, uh, we had to have breakfast. Uh, mandazis were brought with hot milk. Mayani, my Roma, Koroka. Tua Koroka Mayani, Nika Koroka Mayani, Kakua Ishiki. This is in a restaurant in Nairobi now. We were with Tata. Uh, so what I did, uh, I tore off, I tore off the, that, that, that uh, white item, can you get a tembo? Na maya ni mo zeme dika kye ine. And you know all this, all this tea, you know just floated on the teacup. Na na aku na na atangwa. So I remember, uh, apparently, uh, we were also with Ango Mutemizuki. I don't know whether he's been able to come. Uh, I think he's here or he's here. Ango Mutemi. Uh, Try na ake ondi zeka ngo mi mi no ali keno. Na ndi e azemba ku kiko ne au kana jag. Na waka kila kija kwa chosa kia ma ne kia kis kia o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o uh, this was in 1983 when as a village boy went to a Nairobi restaurant and what I want to say is he left us amazing friends and these are the friends that are holding us in various ways even in this last day. I want to say uh, when I look at them and I see their passion despite their age, they are elderly, they are most of them. I feel fathered and I feel challenged to emulate their ways. I would like to remember Mwiwe group, uh, Mwingi group as well, especially at this point, and other individual friends that have been with us these last days. Friends, Anyanya, Emetukuma, Kiyomo, Mwiwe, Ne, Moswani, Kanyekini, all over. Uh, these are the fathers now that we've been left with. Na, Nenda Kumwea, we'll be with you, Tasiana Sienyu. Hutu wakatwe the miangwenye, bingwe, ikanawe the ele, itutonyakuwa samotao, na anything else we would want. I believe uh, 
you have showed us that you have that generosity uh, in the way you have held our hand during these difficult times. I would like to offer words of gratitude to all of you, my friends, colleagues, I have colleagues here, I would like to recognize them, they are here, uh, my siblings, friends of my siblings, the entire Ngambi family, the entire family extended, Mitao's family, everyone. And all those people who offered uh, prayers, good thoughts, even if they didn't offer any money. Ulo na tubo ya onze na ukwitha na tila utonye ukwitha na tunengi embesa Kana ukwitha na tunengi ete Nenda kwa asani muveamu no We want to say thank you because I will not get this chance again as a person to say thank you We did a lot of work here Tuna seba siya mbeya bala we want to say thank you And because everyone gave as much with everything they had It's the heart of gifting that we look at rather than the amount gifted And everyone who is gathered here uh, to give Amze such a befitting send-off, I would like to say thank you very much. I say Asante, Asante, Asante. I cannot mention everyone by their names, but let these words of Shukran befit everyone. Uh, finally, as I close, uh, Dad would say, Manyeika uh, your father loves you. Uh, generation Yatata, not very many people can say that. Ah, not very many people say that even in our generation so you can imagine how difficult it is for his generation to say that but he reminded us all these times uh, last I would like to say it's like he, he said some last things I remember when we were in hospital with mama he told mama go home uh, go take care of my goats the way I remember he told us, in fact, he was even telling everyone to go. Even though, and as Mama said in her tributes that Tara would uh, sing songs for her, um, I would like to, to invite uh, these four, the, the, my siblings, to sing the love song of their time, uh, sung 40 years ago in their wedding anniversary, uh, simply because tonight will be the 40th anniversary of their wedding, tonight. Uh, and we want to sing for Mama uh, for last, as Tata would have, as we lay him to rest. So I'd like to say thank you. So this is the last wedding, I mean, um, uh, song, love song we are singing for, for her. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary Wakwa, Goya Kwa, Anangi Teke Ngoya Ke. Mary Wakwa, Goya Kwa, Anangi Teke Ngoya Ke. Ringa, 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 ringa na ke. Ringa na ke, nondo ne wateka waku. Ke Wakwa, ringa na ke. Nando ne wateka waku Ke wakwa Ringa na ke Nando ne wateka waku Thank you very much Thank you
let them have a family portrait wakiwa karibu na the casket Meanwhile, uh, Julius Kaduli, prepare yourself. Julius Kaduli is a brother, while the other brothers will stay where they are. Lenda Maris Mawia uh, Brothers Wanaeza Kuja That's the instructions that have been given That is only for the brothers Lakini wale wengine Kutoka pale It is only a representative Who will be allowed to come here And speak on behalf of the others we, we also recognize the presence of the area MP, Honorable Charles Nguna is with us, together with the team. We also have uh, Honorable Kitunge is still with us. Uh, Jonathan Kimanzi, the long-serving NAT Executive Secretary, is with us. Mm -hmm. So this is the brother's tribute. Uh, dearest brother, this is such an emotional task, eulogizing you. We do not have enough words to eulogize you. You were just like the father figure we all looked for, for the longest time, cause when Papa passed on, we were all left under your arms and under your care. The purest love was from you for all of us. You loved equally, was just enough, kind, extremely generous, cause through you, our dearest brother, we all went to school. Dependable was your second name. Having you as our brother is a phenomenal privilege and honor that we shall forever be grateful for. Because of you, the Kathuli name is now our household name, our guiding light. You set the pace for all of us and wished us the best. You, our brother, will forever be in our hearts forever. Come, Anessa. To him, in the Gilean and Ogwe Dotanga, so Quizla, Balabe Chaman, Waitu, one development, Muswan AIC, Nina Manyakana, Senator Waitu, and Ogokio, a Manya Reportia, Kiaviki, Omondi, Na as and Devika. Indi no kubanga jadi kya kuka musiu no na isinyo reporti na nengwa ni chama niwa AIC muzwa niwa development ni mowea. Thank you very much. Naomba Joyce Kalonda akuje kwa niaba ya sisters. And meanwhile, Dixon Mus Musioki ajitayarishe. Ndi atakaye fuata. Nye atakaye fuata. Bada ya Joyce Kalunda. Dixon, be prepared. 
God is good. God is good. And all the time. Uh, my sister Mary will read for the sisters and I have a special tribute. I'll read it later. Yes, I'm at Indonesia. Ito ta tindanesa. Tena we kwa tsokana. Ona ka une to kuya mudhenyome tukavangula medhi. Oko se wandike to na luka ya kisungo na ni soma la luka ya kisungo. Our dear brother, now that you are gone, you are no longer here to share the board we shared. A board of love and care from you. Our hearts still ache with sadness and many tears still flow. What it means to lose you, no one will ever know. You followed our events even when we are all married. That's just but a show of how he was of a father than a brother to us. Goodbye to you, dear brother. You deserve eternal rest. You cared so much for all of us. I think you as a brother was such a blessing. Amen. Thank you very much. Nataka kuona sisters kama wako mahali, tafadhali msimame ili muweze kupeana shima zenu mahali mlipo tafadhali. Naomba tu msimame kama mpo simameni. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Dixon. Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, this is my special tribute to my brother. And I want you to listen very carefully. It is short. Naninzuri sana. My brother Kimans was the most incredible person. He was caring and the most friendliest person ever. He used to refer me as his brother, despite me being his small sister. The reason why he referred me to his brother, I don't know, even up to today. I tried to follow up to ask him why. Lakini alikuwa na niambia, uwe si ni mui munoe. Meaning, ni bright, yani, ni mui muno, ni ni sikilangu nena. And I wanted to know why he referred me as his brother. And yet, I'm a lady. Uh, many times, he could secretly involve me in decision making. Mavinda Mainge, Ekane Lesie, he used to call me. Mimi Naish Nairobi, eh? Nawale awa on Kuna Tim Kuba Ikopale. Those are our nieces and our nephews, eh? And most of them were Naish Nairobi. He could randomly call me. Ah, uh, Nawakati. Nikisikia amenipigia simu nimeona simu yake najua kuna jambo na kaa kando kidogo ah kalunda i would say ha we guru wisu mwende wakasolie bawe i would say ndiye si na we kata i love you wicha wende si we icha wende si asa wili ku the wisi ki we we kata i love you so I was his ambassador at Nairobi. Ata kukiwa shidagani ya watoto wake they know. Ange kuja Nairobi ku solve your problem. And I want to promise him today I will just do that what he wanted me to do for his nephews and nieces. Um every feast he would want me to tell him the progress from the previous talks we had. Uh, all the times, alikuwa nataka umweleze, ni nini unaendelesha pali uko? Aliacho kifanya hivi ulifikisha wapi na sasa unafanya nini? As his children are said, he wanted to keep all of us on toes, not his children alone, even the sisters, as old as we are. Um, he was a record keeper. Yule amekuwa msava ndama yule amekuwa kimuangalia akona vitabu sake and whenever he 
he used to start to start there alikuwa anakuwa na kitabu yake so if we pay a visit atatoa kitabu atakuwa nayo hapo so ukienda ni kama alikuwa anajua hii record ni ya huyu hii record ni ya huyu he always kept promising me security and helped me carry most of my troubles in life his legacy lives on may the almighty god rest you in peace i will miss you my brother i know we'll meet one time and we, if we meet please tell me why you used to call me your brother uh, my father died some years ago when we are very small most of us like my sister here na wakati nilianza kuona tulianza kuona maybe we saw a figure of our father in him despite ile mambo yote alitufanyia so yeye amekuwa baba yetu ametufanyia mengi i am who i am today standing here because of him my brother nimekuacha in peace rest in peace the way ulikuwa unatoweka in peace God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh afikiri kufika hapo that's the only uh those are the only people ambao nitawapatia leverage of time. Wale ambao nilikuwa niwapatia wakati bila kuwasukuma. Because they are blood relatives. Now from there uh, nitakuwa nahitaji only one person to give a testimony for each group. Hivyo nataka Dickson Munyoki Musyoki akuje tafadhali Dickson Musyoki akiwa peke yake Cousins mahali mlipo naomba tu msimame ili muweze kumpea your cousin the last respect mahali mlipo simameni tu kabla hajaanza kusoma your uh, testimony thank you god bless you Dickson Abujambo Eh uh, Nimesimama hapa kwa niapa ya makasi ni wote. Tutoe ushuhuda wa Francis Kimanzi. Pile mmesikia Kimanzi ni ngabana kweli ni ngabana. Yeye ndiye alikuwa chairman wa hiyo nyumba yote hiyo mnasikia mbaa ngambi. Na mimi ndio faisi wake. Wakati mapapa yetu walienda Kimaji ndiye alichukua sukani. Na wasiana wote wale wa hao mapapa Kimaji ndio alisimamia. Kwa hivyo Kimaji ni mtu wa kuunganisha watu na tutamumisi sana. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya makasi tumesema wewe Kimanzi nenda salama lala salama tutaonana. Asendini sana. Thank you very much. Uh, the next group is Joseph Kasolia. Uh, come and represent the brothers in law. Ukiwa peke yako nikaomba Brothers in law wale wengine wa mahali ambapo walipo waweze tu kusimama tafadhali stand on your feet ungapo kalamu hivyo muoneke Thank you Kama nomeacio Asante kalainde Na ungamavu nene nderoti awo ila nonia Nye ninya wakana kutwana ba Na na twana ba Kadhuli ne wambite kadhuli wangambi kwika mozi omwene ehozo mitaziana Lakima njo zanga zanga tezi kandro nyuti wondu oti watezi Na kandu kuti wo ukuti wa wo bape na limu Oti wa mzala wake utapike ngili Na endi kadhuka kimanjo wa kadhuli Oza kila kilu kionze na hukuma kila kilu kionze na itukula kwaonze ama twa matwa ni teba pa yo mwe tonya kwaja ndabo no kwiki manzi na ndwe binda wo kaba ukazonu kwa niki manzi ana aja endwa makwa 
ni mwizi na hesabu kama aduma mundu madina jua kila walie kwika kila unotonyo kwika aduma kimanzi na uko kwake wika dina nuru kila elito meka ni wamekie ara na agwa mozo make monze agwa manyai kiti ana je bani monu na kuri ki agwa kabisa na ni ngwe de kila ki ni na kili ki ene kila ni wakatrua nena na kadhulia nena na mnyaba iku zono kanongi bayi ku zono kanongi ningo tole ningo tungi langi anu ma mundu amwiba madina dwa ni kila uwe wale ye kwika kila wa ino to nyuwa kwa ukika kila kisio na madina dwa no kila uwe uwe ye kila kidhuku kila wa ino to nyuwa kwa kidhuku na akiki manzi wa kadhuli ndaka udhuku malamu ndimu kwa na ba na mjingi na ku ni kadhuli wa kimanzi amen asanti tabitha nguyu eva sisters in law tabitha nguyu asanti Alex Mwinda ya David tayari. Uh, this is a tribute for Akama Asiana. Akama Asiana nga mwe wala mwe. Nga mwe wala mwe Akama Asiana. Eh, wake wa ndugu wa Kimanzi wasimame mahali walipo. Asante, tunaweza kumzika. We are all gathered here today in memory of our brother in law Kimanzi so that we may together acknowledge and share both our joy in the gift that his life was to us and the pain his passing brings. There were many wonderful aspects to his life and many ways that touched our lives. We will remember him as a wonderful brother-in-law who was of wise counsel. He was such a good father figure to us and to the society at large. You were gone before we knew it and only God knows why. In our hearts you hold a place no one else can fill. We will meet again some day and we know in a better place. Rest well. Thank you very much Alex. Muinde uh, as Alex comes uh, nataka Abdullahi Ndunga ujiweze kuweka tayari ili from there you do the necessary in laws mahali walipo in laws hebu simameni tafadhali wherever you are be upstanding ili ukaweze kuonekana we only need one person in front Alex so kindly have your seats Alex God is good all the time. My name is Alex Muinde. Mimi ndiye babake faith. Bibi ya mitao. Mekuja na bibi yangu yuko hapa. Sema wanekana. Niko na William Moses. William ni brother ni brother kama make faith. Kwa na bibi yake. And uh, Oscar my first cousin niko na gift gift ni brother ke faith eh kile ndo za kusema the gand family we are sorry we met uh, kadhuri last year eh walikuja nyumbani kuiba msichana na tukapatana tukaongea akaniambia ni governor na kweli alikuwa ni governor alikuwa ametuma timu nyingine mbele ikiwa naongozwa na kadhuli lakini wakashindwa so my mom mbali na yake faith kawaambia nenda mkaite mzee so alipokuja alisema nilikuwa nimetumawa watu kuja kupima maji how the deep the water is so mimi governor nimekuja sitaacha ni kweli tuwapatia msichana we have been talking na ngoni azimu wangu liava waende hata vai It's a good friend, he's very social. 
We have lost him in a short time. Since last year, April, in this April, it's almost one year. Like you know, we have nothing to say. God is good all the times. Rest in peace, Mze. Thank you very much. I want to do some corrections. Uh, for brother in law, Kiteme Metau, we apologize for that. Kiteme Metau. And then thereafter, you'll be followed by Alice. Mulatia. Kiteme, please. <laughs> Brothers, we do go to get a many as and never could be. Like in the Maqua Metau, one Moko, we do it to a roda. When our poet or Andorra di Nayaka di Line Moko, we do to a Nayam Botella. Like in him, we know a Yajal. Look all within it to Quasia, who may like a man's who are drawn near Pitu. I draw my end there. Where the way would tell you Monoquito. The baby in the draw more care. Kana tu amu ita kuto, tu ena bata akali akoka. Kwa une tu asi amana yeye na tu endete, no na tu tete asi a kwa mando meki ba tu kanyo. Na nundo ni wati ya family, neto kwenye yako ati ni ana mo, ute di oni wangai, hito na inge binya, tu ende kui kalolondo kimanzi une endete. No londo na tu tete asi a na hito tu imu tete ya, kwa bata holo na ina wao. Nito kwa zanga ya muyeba seo, pala we nyubie, nikuwe dia mundu ya kuyo luanzi, niwe we nyubia, pala okudhi, kwa u, niyo seo, mwana ya wito, kwa maneza. Thank you very much. For those who cannot understand the French language, you can hire a translator to be near you. I now take this opportunity, ni karibishe Abdullahi Ndunga, is your letter. Rambi Rambi Zaki Asante sana Bwana Mwongozaji wa Wai Seremon Kwa jina naitwa Abdullahi Kiliungi wa Ndunga Na mimi nimesimama hapa nikiwa ni shekhe katika upande wa kiislamu na nimesimama hapa nikiwa ni angoa kadhuli nafikiri mimi ninamjua kadhuli zaidi labda mama yake ndiye anaweza kushinda kunijua lakini mimi namjua kimanzi kuko na miaka sita lakini kwanza Mwenyezi Mungu amesema mahala popote utakaposimama kile Mwenyezi Mungu aliyokupatia kujua maneno yake elezea watu hata kama ni kidogo kwa sababu yake siku ile ya hukumu kila kiongozi ataulizwa wewe kile niliyokupatia ukaelewa kwa upande wangu uliwafahamisha watu na ikiwa si kuwafahamisha ndaambiwa wewe kile nilipokupatia huku kitumia wewe siku umekuwa disqualify kwangu E, na shukuru sana bwana bishop na mimi nimesikiza yale ambao kwamba umetoa na mimi nikiwa kama shekhe imamu nitajaribu kugusa kidogo nijaribu kuwatetemesha watu nyoyo zao wajue kwa kuwa kesho kuna nini kama vile umewaambia nikienda katika kitabu tunachokisoma kinaitwa Qur'ani Sura ya hamsini na tano. E, sura ya hamsini na tano. Aya ya kumi na kitu na sababu. Mwenyezi mungu ameambia binadamu. Uote alio waumba. Na soma Korani alabu nifasiri kwa kiswahili itasema nini. Minaha khalaknakum Wa minaha nuidukum 
wa minha nu'idukum taratan ukhra kutokana na mchanga tuliwaombeni nyinyi binadamu kutoka kwenye mchanga na kwenye huu mchanga tutawarudisha muwe mchanga tena tatu na kutoka kwenye huu mchanga tutawafufua tena muwe hai kama vile mulivyo kwa uwezo wangu mimi mwombaji baada ya kufufuliwa na itakuwa Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala amemwamrisha malaika wake yule mwenye kupiga paramada parabada amwambia wakati umekwisha sasa taka binadamu wote upige parabanda watoke kwenye makaburi yao niende nikaohukumu parapande ikipigwa kila mtu atatoka ndani ya kaburi yake sura zake ni zile zile aliyokuwa nazo hapo duniani hutoweza kumsahau mtu tena utatoka ndani ya kaburi uchi huna nguo itatoka wapi nguo ndani ya kaburi kama vile uliposaliwa siku ya kaburi ya kufuliwa utatoka bila nguo ukitoka ndani ya kaburi utakuta watumishi wawili wa Mwenyezi Mungu wale wenye kukuandaa mapopoto ulipo natenda nini nzuri au mbaya utakuta wanasimamba pale kando kwako kwa wakwambie njoo twende sisi ndiyo tulikuwa makarani wako tukupeleke kwa Bwana uende ukahukumiwe kile ulifanya Mwenyezi Mungu akiwakusanya watu namna ile malaika ndio watakuwa wanawasuta kama vile unavyosuta mbuzi twendeni twendeni yule mtu ambao kwamba kazi yake ilikuwa ni kula haramu kunyang'anya watu kula mali ya mayatima watoto waliobakia bila baba tumbo lake atakuwa anapata hivi haya twende atakuwa akienda akianguka akianguka ambiwa inuka twende Mwenyezi Mungu amesema mimi sito wa hukumu katika hii ardhi mliofanya makosa Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa ameandalia ardhi nyingine ya kutoa hukumu sio hii tunakanyaga Na Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa hiyo ardhi ameiumba ya fedha Mtakatu atakuwa anakusanyika huku wote na wake kukusanyika huku wote siku hiyo kuanzia Adam mpaka mtu wa mwisho kila mmoja atakuwa analia nafsi yangu sijui leo kutatokea nini kwangu hakuna mtu atakao akililia mwingine kila mmoja atakuwa akilia mimi najua leo kumu yangu itakuwaje na Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala watu watakafufika kule atauliza leo kuna mfalme kimya kuna mtu ataweza kuinuka kusema tu kuna mfalme hiyo yote wafalme waliopita na watakao kuja atajijibu mwenyewe aseme mimi ndiye mfalme na ni baada ya miaka 40 kumalizika munasimama mbele ya Mungu <coughs> baada yake sasa hapo ndio mambo yataanza wewe ulifanya hivi utasomewa rekodi yako kile ulichokitenda ndani ya buku lako imeandikwa na Mungu akatuambia binadamu ni mshindani atakataa aseme maneno hayo mabaya anosema nimefanya si yafanya auliswe kitabu chako kiliandikwa na makarani cha wangu kinasema urongo aseme siku ya leo hakuna kuweza kukubali usaidi wa mtu mwingine Ambi unataka nikupe ushahidi kutoka wapi kutoka kwa mwili wangu mtu mwingine sikubali ushahidi wake ati wewe ulifanya makosa ayasa kunionea akaniwekelea mambo si ya sawa sawa Mwenyezi Mungu atamwambia basi nitakutolea ushahidi kutoka kwa mwili wako atasema wewe mdomo nyamaza usisungumze kitu mkono sema ulifanya nini mikono yako itaelezea chochote ulichokifanya wewe mpaka mwisho ije kopi tu kopi na yale yaliyoko ndani ya kitabu yako 
Mwenyezi Mungu awambie Mungu we Mungu fanya ushahidi ni kweli hayo mkwana amesema ni kweli aseme miguu iseme ni kweli tulienda tulifanya yote ni kweli Nashukuru. Kwa hivyo hapo mtu atawaambia mwili mimi najaribu kuficha mambo na watetea nyinyi na nyinyi mumesema kile tuliofanya Hamujui mbele kuna moto mmejishtaki nyinyi wenyewe Miguu na mikono itamwambia sisi aliyotupa uwezo wa kuzungumza ni Allah muumbaji wa kila kitu muweza wa kila kitu ndiye amefanya sisi tutamke hayo mm. Kwa hivyo sisi tulaumu sisi Mwenyezi Mungu asema shikeni huyu tupeni ndani ya jahana. Sulikuwa ukikataa hujafanya. Wewe uliofanya mambo mazuri. Kitabu yako ikiwa imekubali kulifanya mambo mazuri, itasomwa ionekane wewe ulifanya mambo mazuri. Uambiwe wewe tunakupeleka uende nani ya paradise uende ukakae milele, starehe za milele bila kufa, bila kuugua, bila chochote. Oh, thank you. Nashukuru. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu, yaliyoko mbele yetu ni makubwa sana. Tusione kuwa mbele yetu siku ya hukumu ni kitu cha mchezo. Inawatetemesha mpaka manabii kila mmoja anasema mimi sijui nitafanywa nini. Kwa hivyo tujaribu kuchunga minendo yetu ujue Mwenyezi Mungu akuamurisha ufanye nini utende lile Mwenyezi Mungu akuamurisha. Na Mwenyezi Mungu amekukataza nini? Uache lile Mungu amekukataza usilijifanye. Hii ndiyo inaitwa uchaji Mungu. Uchaji Mungu na pas na vile vile bisho kwa megusa ni mambo mawili. Huo unajua Mungu amekuamurisha ufanye nini? Na Mungu amekukataza usifanye nini? Hayo mambo uyasimamishe hivyo utakuwa wewe ni mtu mzuri. Asante. Asante. Nikirejea sasa kwa upande wa Kadhuli. <laughs> Kimanzi uh, muda unakataa umeyoyoma sana. Kwa hivyo kwa haraka. Ndio. Uh. Mimi nilimjua Kimanzi 1951. Tumelelewa hapa lakini mimi nikaanza kwenda Nairobi nikiwa mdogo. Nikirudi ngakuta Kimanzi naye ni kijana. Na miaka kama sita hivi. Tukakaa naye kuanzia 51 lakini kimanzi kulingana vile nilikuwa nikimsoma nikamuelewa. Kimanzi mimi nilimjua kitambo ngajua huyu kijana fiucha yake ni kubwa sana. Alikuwa mtu chafu chafu mwenye bidii katika mambo. Na kimanzi alikuwa haogopi chochote. Wao kimwambia jambo ikiwa tisa sawa atakwambia sawa. Na ukijaribu kulamishimisha hata kama wewe ni mkuu atakwambia tutapigana mimi naweza. Alikuwa haogopi kitu vijana wa rika lake ndio kasikia ile jina unasikia anaitwa dhukusi kitu kingine alikuwa akiwachapa vijana wa rika lake na alikuwa na nguvu ilikuwa si mchezo kimazi basi mimi niliondoka nikamwacha 56 kimazi ameingia akabaini shule mimi nikatoka nikaenda nje kwa hivyo kimazi nilimjua toka utotoni tumelewa pamoja na nilikimpenda sana nikimuona huyu kijana viucha yake na hali ilivyo Mungu atampa mambo makubwa. Maziko ya Kimanzi leo kama sio vile kuna matatizo yaliyoko ndani ya ulimwengu nafikiria hata hapa hapa singa litoshia tu ngaliweza kwenda kutafuta uwanja ground kubwa ya kuweza kufanya maziko ya Kimanzi. Mm. Kwa kazi yake Mwenyezi Mungu amjalia kufanya. Asa. Bas kwa haya machache nawaambia mtoto wa ndugu yangu Kimanzi kwa hayo mengi nataka Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala atakuweka pale wewe umejitafutia na kazi uliofanya Mwenyezi Mungu anaijua. Asante. Asante tu. Asante sana. Huyo uh, ni uncle, uncle uh, wa Kimanzi. Unajua there is a story that goes like this, eh? Um, one time a pastor was given an opportunity to minister to a congregation during a burial ceremony like today. Unajua wachungaji wakiona umati wanasema hapa nitahubiri nipate mshirika sadaka iongezeke. Kwa hivyo sasa mchungaji akahubiri ilikuwa ni saa kumi kafika saa kumi na moja saa kumi na mbili watu wakaanza kutoka wakienda makwao. Lakini bahati mzuri pakaja mlevi mmoja ambaye alikuwa amelewa chakari. Ebuge ukia aliye karibu nawe mwambie 
kila mtu ako na kazi yake yule mlevi akaja watu wameenda nyumbani mchungaji ameachwa peke yake na jeneza pale akaja akiwa na wimba wimba hivi akamwambia mchungaji aliongea kikamba pasta pasta tabani ya tu ilongole ndo kwenda ah mimi na kuilongola wose mwi utu aikabulini ando maendie akarudi kwa hivyo ukija hapa ndo kelongole tukezoti anizwa no mwiba tu utu aikabulini tu yoka sasa tuko pamoja asante ah ningetaka sasa kumuita mba mulu and the families to be represented by Bernard Honorable Bernard Kitungi karibu sana no ngama ba nete okyakso kuitu wa mba mulu na family isuido wa family nene eh inya kimans wa kaduli asiani isue na tata ndo tata mai mengi na atwe ba tunedi wa atwe kwa ndi waitu Kolona tuti ovinda ina vetie na kimanzi ni kazi ni waito na tu maingi amwe meova alama umete kwamba mulu nga mei simameni mali muko inundu wa covid ikande inzi we the amogi mengi mwana komete ba ko yakwitu anai mwana wa vata muno ndo anai mutongo hi na anatongo azia ko na ko ko na ko yakwitu atuta anatuta ikwithia twina ke ithi twisiana nini na ne wa tubundi isie ulo tudonya ko ikala na relatives isitu na Ulondo tutonya kuikala na tabia silie Kimanzi ni mundu nai na madhekani ya maingi mono Ulondo wa iguazia na ziyake ziya weta Ibinda imu atu ya Maukie na inyake wendo kwa ya kuitu Kaduli Aisa jendu wa jeshi Na kuhu kwa hii kombe Ibinda yu Au maana hii kombe kuhuya na kuitu kwa hiyo wando makea lakini kima zindari gade ya ku azuta mai makea yu atu ya gila mokie kioko anewe kie 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 kwe nzeleni neo kie kie kwe nzeleni kitha uko othe uka yu onywa wethi ya kiambite sii ambe ya kuya na hivyo nyake wazio kie kuhumuzi ea mwana wakila tui isu ne Matekani ala manai na kimans tu kwendo mutavia na hivi tu na tinda na ke na ndo hivi manona ata tu tinda na ke kuelea ni support au kwa kisiasa ni ndamu tu si anesi na kwa hivi ni tosia mtume ya unai watao mtume unai wamana mtume una tu bundi tu kwe kala na ndo ndo na kwa yangu tu saingi tu na mweta. Okuo makwani ya koko tutu ya Na kwa hivye Yelaki manzi Unawa hivye Ambrautili Within less than a A day He had left us In fact Me had talked to him earlier Four days before he left us And I asked him How are you doing? And they are Nyona ndiye vandu Nondo wea Dana dimiti ya kana no hoi dia mu ana asia immunity ya ge yulumo no na yungo isoko no asimone wa iwasembwa mwingi 
And after that, he left us when he was in his way to Nairobi. Kwa une pole sana. Kithye mba amulu, prende ya kwekala, na kunenga ne support. Nenyu mwoto ne support. Galikuwe ya, ne, nondo, neto atuwekie one family. Kwa u, pasi ni pole, kwa anuma amba angambi, na alangi yoonde, anyanya ema kimanzi. Kwithu atuwe imwe, Atu kuidwa, tu kwa tani tano tu na kwa tani tu. Ne mowea. Thank you very much. Gataka sasa ni waite nephews and nieces, titles musioka, to come to speak on behalf of Kadulis. Nyume ya titles, siombu angoso adiandai. Siombu angoso will come after titles. Mwe ya inumuseo Mawinda onde MC naomba Tuhuimbe wimbo moja tu na wakasi zama Do Kwa kima hapo Tapo hapo Salama Rohoni Ni salama Rohoni Yes, we are celebrating the life of Francis Kimandi Kabuli Siombu angoso prepare yourself. Ah, endo mangai. Eka nendo no muge ya maseo. Hmm. Eka tose ivinda ita nepisa dizi si afrazi siki manzi. Kwa tro kia kishowito kwa shema ito nundo watu wa mane nia iwe pa kikisha shema ito. Kenge ne kwa ndoto kile sisi tukula kwe pator Frederick Meta and Faith pole sana nondo wa kutiwa ni the way new e angawito tuwe pamoja 
na yenge otoi ni nago pole nondo akotiwa ni kiongozi na zimwezi kiongozi tibo ekana asie anga uito francis ikolo ga wendo gibono ndo nende tando kwa jaruna ndaka ndaka gibono ndo nende tando moze na mono mono no tu mi okose kana ivie e bai ma kuna twendet niki e mundu onze wasomie kwambia 80s 90s esile dakika konine kila kitu dakika konine kia ango tvc tileu ana saingi roka ko tukula ko maya ndo ko nyake kia geia so twasie ivie andu mengi tako siana inini ito siana siana na ndola na mani nangi iyo ndo ndo sila koko ni kwa ango ke ko so medwa ke ko wa bisi ona ko direction otwa no atu ya atu odi a ke la ke bodu kwa sia ito asia ango na twendete no na tuta ango anai mundu na bwangu na discipline Wandu mengi amakasi nyama kwa ndaya mena yo mono mono isilete bala be yango nundu kindu kyambe kana kes la bala be kambe musheini ko di bala be mwalimu so ango ni musheini mwalimu wito na ndaya mbingi simite bala we nundu a kutonya mwelekeo engo nenga next sambo yemwe eh No ni e tu sande seven tu na andi kalo kalo andi kalo I think you remember eh na umi yako la kutoka karanga na si kuto kwa kuto na na diye kwe sukale kwe keki yako kutoka school tu sande seven na wale daga nuko wuko soso ni yake keki yake yato na kwe school na ya diandi no rambi e na wanyo yake i ha na ma bale na kwenye yake i rambi e ikuwa evo kuhu maluka. Ilo kwa 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 na utwene a ne kuya tabikanga itineo ake uki arusieo mudenyo su kitonie bai mundu wa kyo na mbako na suote ondo ndio lwa na ndi ndolo ni ndi twai be ando asu ange mwa zama seleto ondo maselewe ondo ondo wito so ngwasi uni asiata ni asia mutumyo su no nende tando make No na twende tidi ta siana siake no no na esa kula ukwe ki no na no na kuna si maga kuli anga nia enda yata siana siaku si enda yata oke <hesitation> na wuti na ni mia ke lau ndi siang ndi siang ko ngoi kwa endi yata ikwe dia kila kila mwaka ando boko mana siana si kuka si uwe ta kulo ndi sike ta ke skulu e wa ma enda yata ke maisha ta ke na si wadre lau ndo e vinda so te na ivie ito asia o oh, musi waiti eh na ngumi no kile ngona mc ba ano dendele dendele dina na chozo la kilo no wa kudi ni ngo kila mm. eh mba ngambi ngo mukolia kwanda ya kila kitu ko geto with immediate effect mo ke fetting ya mundo la ko ke asia to sia ngo abangu ya baka benga mo ewa ke so ko gaza with immediate effect you cannot next time mo yo dala Tuma dwa tu koka otao akosa eh kiadimo sandi sala dimoy thank you very much i know i know very well that everybody has something to say about our departed comrade friend dad uncle grandfather and therefore i'm asking every one of us to shorten the testimonies thank you tu mukade ya kristo masimulati prepare tu mukade nge 
Kwa hiyo chakwa, ni kusema ni asanti, na ni asanti sana, nga inu noni ye tatata. Na noni ya mwete vindakaki kila giseo. Kwa hiyo, nye tata, ina atapisu ikadhulina, ina agiye, na ina uwe mpumpa katu imoka. Sana. Tata koma na esa, nduwa kwa angalata ya msi. <laughs> tata koma, matata koma, tukwane na kilanga yuke, noka kethi ya nduma kwenye mozo ite kuki. Sante. Sante. Iko uona ngutila tafadhali mwikone tani mudhuku. Thank you. Mm. Adhe mwangani mwiaseo. Kwa masito ni ito wa masi wa mulatia. Na inya wakola wenzia itazia ni isi wa mbindai anti mwende. Na nendo nena kuhusu wanko. Wanko wanai mundu mwuse umu nona atu endete hithi wanze. Na ino neteo matuku mengi osi hila makwani kwa mitau ndo kadu lwezi ana asila makwani na bekazi ni to lai litone na tinye mkuwa zuki kimanzi na no ndabi siende to imwe ila na ile kuweta bano mabinda amwe kwe makwani ola ukusiliwa kwani no na prefer ako tweka anti no ko kana anko but umwe wito waisie ikabango wao ke anti ndakoke ndo na mo circumstances anko iwa kwa mita wendi mundu o prefer anko oke Nundu, kila ma youth meta, anti no na choma. Mugona, mugwede la iwa, iwa vinyi ya mundu. Mwemu no, hindi anko anai very lenient na kwethu kisa kila mundu nesa. Hingu vindesi ya December. Wavi. My mom, iwenda kone thea kathuli. Na inya kathuli, na ambia na hindi tekone inya kathuli. Na na mkuli ya ndete kwa ni nya kathuli, edhea kathuli iki, ambia no lazima ambe kwelesi edhea kathuli before elesi ya anti. Kuhu anti ya anko wanai museo, na nuna atu ndete hithi wanze ni tuitu na muendete kuhu wako menesa. Thank you. Nina makuli ya kwa ndaya ya meke, ine wadhi nundu wa masa na imeti kila. Thank you very much. Ni ingu kuli ya masi, mulatia, mitaus. Nusu wa nena. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Daniel Mutuo. Daniel Mutuo. Anena kwa nzuku, kwa niyabe nzuku. Daniel ende na kuka ningu kuli ya mutemi nzuki Na muna ngonda meyumba ni His friends Na sami musai Mwoke matunenge ukusiwa Adhemi wangu imu ya zio Tumi ya maiki Adhimu anga imu ya zio Na kwa ni mutio Odondo mwe kwa ni doa ndani ya li Na mudumia uwe ba Nuo mwe wa kwa Na nuna ambendele na kwa ni na muendete Na nuna ndawa jenda to zia mota u Aombea wali dugu ya kalona no na Na wangu mwe ya umu Ulo ndo wa ndabi ngwe gara Ngwa dea Nevi kovu Kai nama ini ni zaman lama sebiji. Thank you. Mutemi, mutemi, duka ni mana tu lalu? Mutemi nasi. Kwa masi ito ni Tawa Johnson Mutemi Wanzuki Excuse me, excuse kidogo tu Muna no vikia 
una bangonda. Ok, sawa. E, kwa masito ni Johnson mutemi wanzuki, ni ba, ni kusi, unyanya wakwa, nangu mba yunye kwa mete ba, nende iwe munu ni, kuosa mwanyo no, kwa niyaba ya kwa, na kwa niyaba ya musi wakwa, na musi wanzuki, kwe dendeto siya ukia kisi wakatika musi wa Francis. Anai munyanya wa itu, katika familia, na tondu ukuweteka, unai muta hii, onakuitu na wapikazi ya otawa. Kaliko ni onyanya, kwa siwe imwena kemansi, Francis, 1946. Kwa so maimwe, na tuya indu, indi ila tuadikia uyani, kitu watumie ndu huu, tuhidu kumakitu hii, katika asia maa, na tuya alimu. Tuende, ndu ini andie ya kama, Francis, na mwani ya mwende. Hii, natuwa anaya na niya Francis na mwende. Na na meki ya sayi, matukwe kumi ya kenda. Mwai wakana na hindi inaite wani. Ma atuwa ana. Kwa huu, ondu, mana celebrate ya, na meyu mba ni isi ye, isi kuli celebrate, mwaka wa miongwe na. No, siyo. Maka huu okali Na mama anzake ya mule Na miombi kisi okamwe Kithi ya nakwa nona asama Mwe ya hii Amudhu umusi basio Pala wa museo visi asanti Asanti inundwa Kwa ma friends Kune nukusi musi otosu. Nitu ukuli obisi wa NAT. Nikenena uyo. Ututavyo undu. Kusela walabe Mike. Nano we MC. Kondu wa uni ansia no oku nena. Ngukuli ya kongwe. Ala maadimu meba. Masako. Nimonie. Ma NAT. Nimonie. Mwoke ba. Mwoke ba. Tumasye, mutongo yu witu kwa ndaila, tumasya, atongo yu, maitu nasyo. Pakamba maasya, yu asya ba? Yuh, wale komete. Hey, kuhu, njisi meba, where are you? Can I call the retired general to come forward? Honorable Secretary Mutamu. Uh, thank you very much. Mbitikili ni akwa nete ukuse wakwa ta the sitting executive secretary kia mani kia alimu kia nat kwa masietuwa ni itawa mbutu wa mwenyasia au karibu sana I see my chairman has just arrived karibu sana Morris karibu sana according to our protocols Allow me to introduce Morris Kinyata Maluki. Yes, he is the branch chairman, Mwingi Nat branch, where Kaduli served as the executive secretary. Nina Mutabia Masitoma kwa Michael Munyasia, the sitting executive secretary. I will not introduce uh, my senior. He will do it for himself. Kimanzi, Francis Kiman Kabuli ni we wambisye branch yitu ya muingi ila yutu sabu he was a visionary leader Kimanzi Kabuli ni we wae katika ala mambe mambe isye kituiti cha sako 
which today is a giant circle controlling close to 10 billion capital share, cap share capital. It's a big circle. One of the biggest in this country. Kaduli Niwawa Ambisye. He was among the brainchild. He was also among the brainchild. Wa branch ito ya muinge. Becoming the first executive secretary in that branch. And therefore, with that history, it tells you who Kaduli is. Is a visionary leader, and he was a born leader. Obon deba la onenda, he was regarded as so. Ive taalimu, ona amino retire, we would come consult with him on matters, teachers' politics, on matters professional, profession. I recall when I was going for the first seat as a BEC, a very low seat, in our union, mundu ambe, ula na ambie kuokea, na nundu na haba wakwa, na hiwa amusi, haiki manzi, na kulio kuu. Na kuhi dhetu hiwa twaitie, taalimu, ma branch ito ya muinge, na tuenda kwa asia, nundu nga ino na muendie, na kimanzi nuna adhuku miewe ya wake olanga hii, wa munete, eku hundi, Na ibinda yake ya thela anendie na mugo. Nga hii wa mumo amuye walaba seo wese uvisye. Ningwenda kwita the, the NEC 2 NAT ulaniwe the retired general, the long serving executive secretary in our branch who served for 20 years and broken feet to executive secretary. Okay, I represent the national office. Uh, Bandu Niba Na Onena Detosia, the national office. But before that, Gwendo, my brother, Ake Dhani Mwiwe Wasi. Okay. God is good. And all the time, uh, Nito Morris Kenya to Amaluki. Uh, ni, ni chairman KNUT Mwingi branch. Na vile vile, ninye chairman wa KNUT, Kitui County. I was introduced to KNUT politics by brother Francis Kimanzi Kathuli. When we got our own branch carved from Kitui in 1993, I campaigned for him to be the first executive secretary of KNUT Mwingi branch. After that, he gave the mantle to Brother Ndolai. After five years of Brother Ndolai's uh, tenure, we gave this mantle to the most longest serving executive secretary in Kenya, Brother Jonathan Kimanzi Mutambo, in 2001, April. 14th, I remember very well, because I was his chief campaigner then. After 20 years of service, he handed over the mandu to this young man. And he supposed also to stay for over 20 years, God willing. And we are going to, sub we are going to give him another seat where Kimanzi Mutambo used to, to be neck. But that aside, ladies and gentlemen, when Kaduri introduced me to politics in 2006, I fight for the seat of the vice chair, which I gained with majority votes. We usually, as the executive secretary has said, we usually used to come for the advice from him, not politics. Consequently, in 2002, when uh, there was national politics, Jonathan Mutambo, tulikuwa tunataka kwenda state house. Kuona moi. So Jonathan Mutambo kwa sababu alikuwa wachama kingine, hakutaka kwenda state house. That one I know. 
So we took executive secretary Kadhuli to be our executive secretary. Na katopeleka Nairobi State House. State House. Tu adi State House. Tu adi putu anengwe millioni mwe na mione vo the first time. That is it. That is your command for the people. That is Francis Kimans Kadhuli. In fact, tu adi we State House ni kitunge. Kitunge then was our chief accountant, Nat. And you remember Kitunge, Utunenge one million. Natwa Gaelio one million is ni late uh, Alex Mwanzia Maivia, if you remember. Nam balance. Twa mino ga angili that to that to balance to akunenge mwa munene. <laughs> that is it. In fact, in one other yes mwa kwa mbe it was si si siemis. Si si siemens ya mbe two thousand and two. Now, after that, after that, Kimanzi has Yoka had to introduce traditional politics. In 2013, he was the chief campaigner of Kitunge. By the way, Kitunge speech yaku in a medu case, yeah. And I was on my way coming. This thing is live at YouTube. YouTube equal live. That is congratulations, chairman and the entire committee. Congratulations. Anyone can see this. Online, YouTube. I know no one who remember how was ya. Wa 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 men and sister wa came. My baby will come. No, me give you muingi. Manozu ango ozu. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Francis Kimans Kaduli, as KNUT officials, he has taken us far. We have seen it almost all, and we want to thank him most sincerely. Natraka kusema. Mwenyezi Mungu amweke pake pema peponi. May God bless us. Let Kimanzi rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to introduce the NEC 2. NEC 2 niwa wikala in the national office as executive committee that executes issues to do with the NAT. And he's retired. Na ninei wenithi nga ngo kiti ya kibila kitu kia muinge, share itu. And I'm gunning for the same. And I know God is ahead and I will get the seed. So I need your prayers as I go for that seat. NEC 2. National Executive Council Member 2. Thank you. Karibu sana. Emo vea mono, Michael Mbutu Munyasia, MC Waitu, KNUT Executive Secretary wa Mwingi, Chairman Kenyato wa Maluki, Ndayani ya Kibetikia Maremu, Mary Mwende, Mary Mwende, CNN, MP Waitu, Ketungi, Na all the politicians, members of the Kalanji, Matongoeswe ni Bishop Kilo, have seen you in your numbers. Ekomano, adeu endwa mangai, anduma vahamu suwane, toko wa location, miwane, muingi na mbe. Kano se muanyosu ni mukezie, muyaseo, pamwe na we kwatio. Muyaseo ingi, Na unga mabau, kwe binde kube piu, nene ngane testimone ya kwa, kwa mutu meotu tie, buwana Francis Kemanzi wakadhuli. Ula wethi aduta akomana, no ula wethi ata ambisi, nye kwe sietuwa netoa Jonathan Kemanzi wa mutambu. Retired teacher, retired high school principal, retired KNUT executive secretary, but for the time being, I'm the National Executive Council member of KNUT representing 66,000 teachers at the KNUT cabinet. And you may be June or thereabout. Valatwe kuna kura sirusia national na atumea ni na meye kevela nundu inaeti ye kuhumea kameongwele mokite. Kwa ukura siya kia makia limu isi uketeo kunwa na kevela kukekethea half on grab nundu nyeni na ritaye. Kwa huko kubipyo, kane engane testimone ya kwa 
as brief as it is na ili ya tao ya si tao the message of condolence to the family relatives and the friends of the late Francis Kimanzi Kathuli the founder executive secretary KNUT Mwingi branch between October 1993 and the 16th April 2000, 16th April 1996 it says it is with deep sorrow sadness and a profound shock that i received the sad news of the demise of Francis Kemanzi Kathuli Consequently, I wish to take this opportunity on my own behalf and that one of the entire teaching family in the beloved Republic of Kenya to bring our heartfelt condolences to the family and the friends of the late Francis and the more so to his beloved wife, Mary, who was my classmate. Very true indeed. Francis was a beacon of hope to his family and a source of inspiration to his many friends and peers. True again, his son demise when his mature and wise counsel was greatly in demand is indeed a tragic loss not only to his immediate and extended family but to his neighborhood to his community and the noble teaching profession whose founder was none other than Jesus Christ himself in the bible he is referred to as a great teacher on a personal perspective i knew francis as a man of the people but very firm he was bold courageous and a principled. I knew him as a symbol of determination. Indeed, hard work was his epitome. I first met Francis in the year 1981 when I was a young man in the University of Nairobi and we struck a very good rapport which was to last his lifetime. My first major outing with him came in 1988 when he recruited me as one of his loyal foot soldiers when he fight for KNUT BC seat for Mingwani Son which he won despite very strong opposition in 1993 the then president the dynamic Daniel Toroitich Ara Moy with all his magnanimity, gave us a new district by the name Mwingi on 1st July 1993. And with it came a new KNUT branch, Mwingi branch. Seven members were given the task of laying structures for the new branch. The leader of this group was none other than Francis Kaduli, who was then Kitui Sako Chairman. Others were Johnson and Zuki. You have heard what he has said. That time Zuki was Kitui, not BBF Chairman. There was also Peter Kiliti in the group. Titus Mbutu Munyasia. The late Alex Maithia. And the late Mr. Mwenga. And you are truly the man standing in front of you. Being a high school principal, I was a lingua advisor to this dynamic group. These structures have stood the test of time, and they are the basis on which KNUT Mwikim branch stands today, courtesy of Kaduli's chairmanship. In that, therefore, Francis was an icon of labor movement and supported all the activities of KNUT Mwingi branch. Indeed, he was a hero. In KNUT, serving in different capacities between 1988 and 1996, climaxing 
in the coveted seat of the executive secretary on 26 October 1993. True again, his footprints in the sand of times is worthy emulation by all. At this time of sorrow and grief, we pray to the Almighty God to give his family courage, grace, and a fortitude to bear this great loss. May the good Lord rest his soul in eternal peace. Signed, J. K. Mutambu, Executive Secretary Emeritus. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much indeed. Solidarity. We are calling upon teachers who might be present to come in front. We perform our small transition, even the retired ones. Mwalimu, ailio ya amu, ona eku, no inye la amundu, ona la retired mauke. Once a teacher, always a teacher, the saying goes. Alamebo, omanyivete, omanyivete. Just come in front, briefly, please. Once a teacher, always a teacher. Inona molandi ya okete. And Kenyatta will lead that, that one. He knows how to do it. Mm, no, we don't uh, hold hands. Yes. We just, we have a corner. Galia, mm. and Yangalia, ni? Uh, yeah. Ivo, tu, Ivo, Ivo. Tunavanya Ivo, tu? Ivo. Ivo. Keep a social distance. Social one, distance. two, three. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. Once more, once more, once more, once more. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. Thank you very much. God bless you. Ni mo bea limu anundoa wea museola mo atedia. Ni to the groups and memberships. Na tu na mwingi otikacharo farmers cooperative, senior citizens, retirees, miguani. Uh, dairy Farm and Society Matongosyo Nisami uh, Manzi Kondwa uno uke kwa mituki uh, Osami yaweka Please Na indi uyeka lata nikendewe The unit wadhina mituki Pake the atebo Kimanzi wa munyambu Aede uh, wa kubi nake Ok Nake they are on the matevo. Mundumono, okay, I'm represent. Uh, senior citizens. Twina umwe, kafadhali, karibu, come and represent the entire group. Thank you. Social group Juakali Ndedie Ngutedie Muna Ndwa Kia Ikoma Nzoka To prepare One person Kwa mjani wa muenda zake Madam Mama Kazuli The church represented by the bishop Politicians Na wote kwa jumla Hamjambo Bwana Sviwe na hitu Anjose Muthimbilo ni moja wa officials hao wa senior citizens muenda zaki alikuwa moja wetu tangu tulipoanza eh, 2018 mwezi wa pili na hadi wakatuo mpaka tuwa, atuache amekua kwetu ichelelezo chema hakuwa nachelewa kwa ile mchango huwa tunakutana kila mwezi mwishu wa mwezi 
tunachanga tunapesa kwa account ya kutusaidia baadaye kwa ule mradi ambao ambao wanachama watachagua kwa hivyo haku wanachelewa kuhudhuria mikutano kutoa pesa pia kuchangia haku wanachelewa upande huu wa tivui yani the neighboring all those villages in neighboring bondoni e, tivui kio kiomo na wengine ambao hawafanyi mipango kama ile tunafanya kwa bondoni senior wote tuliwaalika na upande huu mwendazaki akatuletea members ambao ni very active tunawasi wale wote ambao wanastaafu kutoka idara mbali mbali waongane nasi wa tunakutana kila wakati lakini wakati wa njanga atukutani wa tunatuma mipa, e, pesa zetu kwa mpesa yani through mpesa na wale ambao wote wanataka kuunga nasi chama ni wetu ni PUC Musyoka ambaye angehudhuria lakini mmoja wa ndugu zake akawa mgonjwa kwa hivyo anamshughulikia kwetu tunaleta rambi rambi ya kwamba yule menda zake amekuwa kielochema na tunawasihi sana sana bibi yake awaru amruhusu pamoja na familia apumzike kwa amani asante sana asante kwa niaba ya the retirees the migwani horticultural farmers the migwani dairy farmers society ningeomba hawa wanachama mahali walipo waweze kusimama miguni pao Joshua uh, jua kali jua kali ungama hii balamu iko andaya jua kali ndedhie ngutedhie muna ndoa kia iko manzoka kwa ndayo ungama hiyo balamu we want to recognize your presence and also because you've done a good job ungama hii kila mundu wa balawi uh, asu makuende na kungama tuma kunangi embi manaku ni ewe ya musio wa kumba ni ya kiathi kino ngai wa mumo na mwekenesa ni mudhumwe ni ngwenda kukulia uh, tunenge the KWS mwanya these are colleagues and friends of uh, the family of the children of the, uh, the children of Francis Kimandi uh, Kaduli nikenda with the name take condolences shoba KWS please then followed by Kenya Railways KWS followed by Kenya Railways Abarizenu wote Abarizenu pamotena Mimi naitua Bernard Uching Beda Tumekuja kurepresent Kenya Wildlife Service Through the Director General And This is a department The department is called Building Buildings and fences management department the department comprises of uh, architects engineers county surveyors managers and i have colleagues here uh, perhaps uh, this is george uh, wabure is the fence manager not the fences you know i think you've seen the fences we do the next is our pilot who is also uniformed the next is a landscape architect you know Kaduli Patrick is an architect and he work very closely me I'm an engineer and we also have other colleagues who have not come but they have sent a message of condolences so on behalf of the director general or Kenya Wildlife Service, 
on behalf of Kenya Wildlife Service family, which is known across the entire Republic of Kenya. As a person who is a colleague who has worked with Patrick very, very closely because he work in the same office. Actually, if you, anybody who has come to see him will see me actually in the next adjacent office. So we work very closely. It's unfortunate that I never met his late dad. But we've always talked about parents because I've also gone through the same problem. We've shared a lot as colleagues, family life, and I, I never knew that sometimes he uses, when he signs some of the documents, he says, he writes, Pat Patrick Francis Kaduli. Then I'm asking, why are you putting two, two names? Because for us on the other side of the lake, we, we like using three names, but the last two names are like traditional names. We don't use two English names. So it's actually when I saw Kumbe Francis is actually his father. I also knew that the father was a teacher and he retired coincidentally when I was joining KWS in 2001. I've also noted that uh, Kaduli Patrick is also the firstborn, just like myself, having gone through the same uh, occurrence. So, as, as a, a representative with my group uh, for Kenya Wildlife Service, uh, we are saying pole for the family, Mama Mary, pole sana. Pole sana, the entire family, for the loss. Losing a dad at this age, this is wisdom that has gone. But we hope that you'll be able to get the strength that you need during this time. Now, on behalf of Kenya, Kenya Wildlife Service, we have a message of condolence conveyed by the Director General on behalf of Kenya Wildlife Service family to Patrick Kaduli Francis. And here it is. Message of condolence. We have received the sad news of the sudden death of your beloved father, Francis Kimandi Kaduli. That occurred on 5th of April, 2021, with deep sorrow. The KWS fraternity is saddened by the demise of Francis, who passed away when he still had so much to contribute to your family. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, management and all staff i wish to convey our heartfelt condolences to your family during this difficult period as you mourn the loss of your beloved father this message is to assure you of our moral support to your family and to wish you strength and god's grace as you go through this trying period thank you poleni sana So le let me hand over the message to Patrick for his custody. Thank you very much. Uh, Kenya Railways, Kenya Railways, and after that, we had forgotten about uh, Metals Contractors Association is a group for the same also kindly prepare yourself after this then you come I will pray. Uh, Kenya Railway is the, the work together with uh, Rachel the they work together with Rachel so they have come because of her I will pray. Lift my hands to honor Hi. Mr. and Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Kimanzi, Kimanzi and family, brothers and sisters, Miaseo, Miaseo Inge, 
Biblia inasema, in everything we give thanks. So today, this day, as we will give thanks. We'll give thanks for the time that your dad, Rachel, lived and the legacy that he has left. In fact, at one point, I thought we were not even going to be called. Bila kila mtu alikuwa nataka onge. Um, the, the, we came here we to show our love to Rachel. But some of us, we didn't... To me talk to Kamamvua. We just want to... You'll say your names, all of you. I'll allow them to say their names and to say Polly. Good afternoon. My name is Mary. Hello everyone. I am Victoria Ngonyo, a colleague to Rachel. Uh, Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. My name is Christopher Ngui. Nimesikia jina Ngui somewhere around here. I'm a colleague of the Rachel. Wanaeswa sifiwe. Wanaeswa sifiwe tena. Majina ni Pastor Gabriel Kiogora. Rachel ni colleague. Poleni sana. Praise the Lord. My name is Christine Masharia. I'm a friend to Rachel and also a colleague. Praise the Lord. My name is Paul Murethi, a colleague and a friend. Bwana sifiwe. Uh, kwa majina naitwa Bari. Uh, mimi ni rafiki wa Rachel na tena ni colleague wake kazini. Rachel pole sana. Kuwa na nguvu na tuko pamoja. Habari zenu? Kwanza kwa familia pole sana. Pole ni Rachel. Kwa majina naitwa Edward Langat. Niko uh, kwa same department na uh, Rachel. Poleni sana. Hamjambo wote. Kwa majina naitwa Saida Shilungu. Tunafanya kazi pamoja na Mr. Nayen. Tumekuja kushikana na nyinyi tuseme poleni sana. Asanteni. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Mudhama. Mimi ni rafiki ya Recho and I'm like a family to to these two Recho and I'll not expound on that. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mnaona vile tunapenda Yesu. Tunashukuru Bwana but because of time I'll just read a message that uh, was that we that was given to us by the MD. This is on for and on behalf of Kenya Railways. To Mrs. Mrs. Francis Kimanzi. Dear Mrs. Kimanzi and family, we have learned of the demise of your father Francis Kimanzi with deep sorrow. On behalf of the board management and staff of Kenya Railways, please accept our most heartfelt sympathies for your loss. Coping with the death of a loved one is never easy, regardless of time, age, or relationship. It is hard to lose someone so close. Hold tight to memories for comfort. Lean on your family and friends for strength and comfort. While today we are in grief, we are also celebrating the life of a parent whom you truly loved. He might not be here physically, but he will forever remain in the hearts and lives of all the people he touched. We pray that the love of God enfolds all of you during this difficult time and may the Lord rest the soul of your father Francis Kimanzi in eternal peace yours sincerely Philip J. Mainga Erokamano oh, let me hand over this letter to Rachel Thank you very much. That group was, uh, has come all the way from Nairobi because of Rachel. Uh, allow me also to call another group that is associated with Mitau. Uh, it will be led by Solomon Kasimu. Solomon? Solomon. Thank you very much. 
the contractor association. The construction industry. Because your word is true. Sing it again. I will sing. Will we sing to you? Yes. A caribou sound. Uh, wote ambao walikuwa nafanya kazi na mitao hapa nyumbani tafadhali ni karibu kama na support support him at this time and our mmoja aonge aba nena ni zindu ndo 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 kano se kamanya ka kwani ya kwa na family ya kwa na tani pole kwa mutsi wa muti wa muti wa Francis Kaduli ni nena ta contractors ila ambaye mitoe katika that field na kwa tani pole kwake na mutsi wake Yes, yeah, Mutumia Kaduli, can you find this? It was a mender to many. Because when I was growing up, I found this museum on the lines of uh, development. And I can say for sure what Kaduli has taught us, it will be a mark to this zone, to this area of Mwingi, and between lunch. So, I would like to say that. Uh, we have missed and we have lost a very laughing, a consultant in so many fields. Actually, as you're saying, he was a governor, he was a professor of so many fields. He could advise you in any way because around Francis was, uh, he was a man all around in every aspect. You could expect his advice at any time, at anywhere you meet him. So, Koyo Machache, Nakwa Nyabaya Mitao. Even the same in Paul Sana, but take courage, continue with your, your work, and God will bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And my two more say, Kwa Mazito Nito Maliti, Maliti wa Munyoki wa Maliti. Na neva no inosia munyanya wa muno ni ndu na ndumava wa muno. Na nao kawano nundu mitao ni tushirika na nake meakoni. Nye ni kwe tevala tata wa ndie wa keo. Kuhu nduwa moze aka meakono mbiti yo. Kuhu ngutunga muvea muno mitao. Na nitu kuende odhuku manondu na kwa ata nitu ni muse. Na otu kuende ya. Na asanti sana. Thank you. Uh, mnaeza piga picha hapa mnapotoka. Mnaeza pigwa picha moja pale mbele. Pale mbele. Ni ingetaka sasa kumuita the coordinator ambaye alikuwa na coordinate mambo ya WhatsApp uh, group ambayo it did marvelous. Fikiri hiyo ndiyo WhatsApp ya kwanza this area to gana such kind of amount of money 1.8 close to 1.9 Honorable Bana Dikitu Let me have uh, Pauline Siumbua, Ulona I Treasurer, Masi Nakaro, Alamari my secretaries. Pauline, Masi, and Nakaro, please. Uh, 
tuliona ni mzuri tu form a, a whatsapp group so that we can be able to collect money for these purposes ilikuwa rahisi kwa sababu once you open a group you just invite people and they come in total we were 255 members members maneli na miongo etano na tano na sio mbui uona hii sio mbui uona hii treasurer masi masi ana secretary na karo secretary but they did a very good job because within two weeks the first week tonight wa ni siembesa ila tunaenda na wiki ingine swingi na twende ya kumia even today this morning people are contributing kone asia and umeitu and let me thank the group which was here Kenya Railways CWS they came in great numbers they gave us money without minding how much to pay we are very proud of you because we did you gave us everything we wanted and we made this function a success as you can see ko alange na mama ko mana tute theisie let me say Mwea muno nundu ona twena astro angu network ye budget ya 1.3 na tuona tatu tamekwata but all of a sudden tuna mikwati ya twa mevetoka ko ni twa sie nyamwe ya whatsapp muona ya vingoa onethia umi on 50 cents onethia umi on ngilie mwe it takes it plays a very big role to us So next time ila mwe na whatsapp ya vingwa ika hiyo ndo mweka kya dini ki kya kimanzi and the people were surprised ulo ndo kimanzi onas kunwe because relationship ya alama no ngana si take ndo siana si kimanzi ne sina play a very big role na si make it our work very easy ko ne move ya mono no ndo wa group wizu thank you Uh, thank you very much nimobea mono that what uh, that leadership of that whatsapp group mana kunie we amuseo mono bitikilie yune the katika atongo imaito alame katika tv itu uh, tumane vinda manene neitu be ningwenda kwete eh, ukiaki sio wa mheshimiwa koki musau kuvasila kwenze kwenze Nungu ni simu ilo manyie kana ninye ni MC ambiano tumiwe bandu ni mheshimiwa uh, Gava Her Excellency Governor Kaluki na kuondwa de atonyo bika inde bangi tekuka na atumwa kioko na ambia ni mwete eh, uh, uh, ndeto ya ukiakisio yake we tamundu bamwe na family yake ningu ni we simu ni Mheshimiwa Kalonzo wa Musioka tuneni ande twingi na namu tabia nukite ku naambia na bikani munenge ukiakisio wake tamundu na family yake na tamutongo iwitu na ambia unesi kadhuli takaria educationist na ndakivalo ni twasia mutongo yumwe wibata na ambia mulilikane ni kiamanie ndikia mana akeli kamwisho ni mutumia wita wa honorable musila honorable musila nu kwenda akuka lakini ndana abika indi nu kwendo nena bamwe nenyu bitikilie andatika ile nikendani mukwatanie na mitambo ba amukedie nena yu we are on air Thank you. Ningo mukete njonde and maitu tayani amuya waitu Yesu Kristo. Bodo ni David Musila. Na kubete ya kwanda ya ya kibetia marehemu 
na sana siyake Ovamuna aduma ndua Aduma miwa ni kwa jubla na aduma kitu ikawati Nienda kunenga nengeli siyakwa Siyo kia kisiyo mwenene mwenu Kwa family ya kimanzi Yo deba la ya avika Na Nguwase kana ni pole sana nundu wa Kuchua ni kimanzi Kilevi na mundu a ah, tutia ni tuenda haku sise ni Uya mau kana ni mundu mau Hala wiki ite Tini wa community Na kimanzi ni umwe katika andu ala Madhu kumite uya mwingi mwenonde ni wa community ino Ya musuwa ni ya miwa ni ona ya kitui kwa jumla Taela wa ya mwalimu Ndi andu aingi mwenu mabiti li jamo kwa ni make Haka masa wa media makatui kwa kindu Na kwa huu ngaini wa mutedisi amunenge Kiliyo kinene kia kusome kia siyana Na alimu ni andu amwa katika alamba Kuni ya jamu ya mwingi mwenu ndini wa ndini ya hitu Na kimandi Eo mwa wamu Tena asi waka eedhi wa Executive kana mwenene wa Kia makia alimu kia KNUT Laliko ya miwani Kana mwingi Na nutele jamuno Akatele ya limu Ala mwede wana makwani Na anaumi ya uyani usu Ena nda ya nene mwono kwa alimu Enzake Na kwa utu enda kutungi ya ngaimu uvea nunduwa Daiwa kimazi Na tuimu vwa ya ngaini kana amunenge Uwekalo museo Kuya yulu Tamumbi wake amwewe Maundu make o ndala weki wa yulu andhi O umena kuwea family Kila tuwezi kana ni family nzeo Na hindi ngumi ino kilia Nienda kumudhu the inyo ande andu maitu Nituwezi kana ngaini wa suvia andu Na ngaini ukunite wa mwingi wa kutusuvia Hasa mwenombu nukumana na uwa wano wa korona Na yuto ndo mwese uwa wano zidi ye mwenobyo Kupika wedhi ya nomini andu ingi mwono Kila ba andu dhe ni wa Kenya onandunia yo ande kwa jumla Kwa hini mwudhu uthia Nikana otui kwa tichi ngai atu sovye onaitu tui sovye nikana Tutete kevo kana tupo no ke dhini wa uwono Tuwa ya ngai nikana au miya uwono Dhini wa ndhe itu Na dhini wa Ndhisi wa ndhisi ya mataifa Nikana withi nituwe kala wano tutunia kala Lakini otuende na utui ke ima hundu ala tukutapa ni Wizara ya Afya Ala ni kuikala atutani si mwono ila tuwewa mwe Kudhamba moko na kukia mask Na kumuthuthi ya mwono wa mask Nini sanga ingi ni mano wa ni mask Ando wange magamiki ya kuungolu No kuthi ya measeme wana mask Mask no mbakai kavingwa manyu na kanyu Ni kana ito wanye kutusuwa vya nesa Kwa huni muthuthi ya mwono Tuwa tehi mwono wa Na kumuthu ya mwono na hasa andu mama kanisa Tuwa hii mwono ni kananga hii Atumye Dila ni ono wa korona Na nga ina mwadhi menyo onde Na mwikiri andu menyo onde musi Asa anda sami Thank you Message is home Ni mwubea mwono Na siya usuni wawo kia kisyo Wa mwishimi wa Honorable David Musila Senator Ni mwubea Na nundu wako mwnevu Suesu ya kumwedhu kisya Ni nguenda kukulia Ni wedhi ya Katika ti witu Ndi nona Mwishimi wa wambua Evo kana mutiri wake Mwishimi wa Wambua kana mutiri wake Evo Na kethi wa atevo Ningi nikulia Because of the protocol politically speaking ni ita the elected MP ni kenda oke Adho kia wethe atu ina aspirants Ala angi meba kuwe Mane ngane okia kisyo wo Tandu na manene Na ekomano andu mangai Ame katika tiwi itu Kwa ukaribu sana mwishimiwa Ni kenda you take over From there Hey, Diane Angai, Diane Amusio, 
wa kimanzu wa kadhuli ndayani ya siana siake monopio ila niendete muno mheshimiwa ola wa hivyo benard kitunge bishop ni mubia sana nundu wa ndeto ya ku ma reverend maito monzem na ma pastors haduku mima serikali ma chief maito knut matongoze ni jonathan mutambo our visitors from all over the country kenya eka ini mukedhe mwe ni museo na mavinda onze mwatu hata eh ndana mbonena eh nienda kwete rambi rambi si mca handu me message yo you na ambia nuna de this museo mose ni ni rambi rambi si yake muno ni wamukia kisia mewe ani bandu bakwitwa Mombasa na inese nuko kwa muta vya metala tala ya maendeleo kwa muzi wa Patrick eh, wa, wa, wa Francis Kathule hewe mwe makia kisi monopio Francis Kimans kenge nikulie pe mundu ukwenda kibila kia MCA kwa manoni na vesi ya sano ndatike mwe Okay, this is family. This is not the right time to do politics. Um, kwezi lava lava clergy, uh, family ya kaduli, na kibetia kaduli, na andwa langi ingwe ndi anu mukedia ndani ni ayes ndi kwa zemu ya seo, na kwa ni museo. Uh, kwa masitwa nita wa Mudengi Junior Kana Stanley Ngoi wa Mudengi Na sen umete wangu une Na so meadokoa No nye mwalimu wako wa yewe sabu Yeto wa Mrs. Muladia Tiwa yewe wakili ya kuwako Na na the high school Wandu yeto wa Kavoteri high school Na na the university Yeto wa Jaramogi University Na na mina university no gaba Kenya na tuike dua national coordinator wa kikundi kitwa Team One Nation. Team One Nation ike kundi ike kundi kila kietete ile kuita One Nation Alliance. Ila ina mheshimiwa wito Steven Kalonzo wa Musioka. Ningo muko ile kwa ndaya anga imu kwa de koko. Na nye nundu ni tongwe sie kuma high school primary na head boy walimu wakono hati certified haya na the kabutiri high school na head prefect na jaramogi university na tuika uh, na, na tuika president wa school na na ukana form kikundi kieto wa mwingi west comrades union mwishimua wano hawete tuwa tu tela ito wa public participation ya bursaries na na umabu na tuika lesser chairman Lesa chairman ito a lower eastern student organization. Na tuika chairman and the pioneer. Na na umbavu na uh, I was one of the pioneers wa team one nation. Na na tuika the national coordinator. Na hini ito ngu iti kukwonze. Na nga tongo seneza. Nye nona ome nitonyo mutongo, mutongo seneza katika awodi ito. Na ni mkulenda ya ni akilisto yesu. Awe mwingu wate iku woko. Tuwa liule awodi ito. And then we are MC Vaz and the Kiamana Kelly. I'm in the Kiamania. Now you, eh? We got the Kamana Goko, Metisaza, the Movia Monanga Yamadme. Neto Goi wa Mudengi, Kanamudengi Junior, politically known as Mudengi Junior. Sasa, God bless you so much. Yes, MC to Aquatro, my MP. Hasi maki mama nyezi ene ni wadhu kumi. Oh, mweshimi wa ketunge. Eh, kala hati eti hundi kogile. Na kwa ninyo mkule wake. Eh, nye, 
tane na elida wa kilungu ke nikita okwede rambi rambi sia kwa kwa my cousin na kwa family ya my cousin nondo wa kututia na ondo munesi ana support wa kwa munene na ningi ndana eweka ni maingi na kwa une asia nondo giathi ki bakubi na ingwambe yothiuka niona medho wa medha na kwa asia kabaki tungi kana nata kwa u tutia ilioba nini tabi imu anoe kukia nene uya kwa asia kuhisi ya zoli kuna ku na kwa gilana hiki vilani na kila asia na vikao hithi madhikoni aku unga makwa si unga mede yu batu ye kie nende wata nye he uzuta hivu ya he na jendi ye vahu ito wakomba ni ya vahu asanti Kadhi uma ngai muasio, muasio ingi, tuka dhani zinza yue ni mwenu musio, ama vinda onze, kwa masito ni ito wakatunga mbuvi, CNN ndiku ite kivila jagu, getungi utu yata, kwa musiwa kadhi uli kimanzi, adhoni ato ngwe alangi meva, muasio nyonde, Nye ni mudhoni musiu Ni mudhoni musiu ni tuwa ni tekua maithi ya Wa mubenge wa ngambi Na ni tuwa ite madha, madha ya dhewe wa ungama Ni dhe na kwa izenzi ya ni undabie Madha nuhu ya, madha ya mwalimu wa Nazarene University Kwa ni wa musuwani Angitu wana Kaduli nwe wane ngoshiti ya doari Newe mwana keweta na ii kose nene munoni lieta kungama ni mutungi ya mwana nduwa nenge kibeti kana ata ii kathu li musi munu kwa nengo shit nundu na kuku itu kalawa numite kitu yi sentro andu weta wa kalawa numite na uku wa wetezi tuwa kathu li wewe hai kwa weba andu wana nenga nungu itu nundu ila mokiva ni mwa mamie undu mwitu nenga nawe na wisdom wizu ya kathu li ni nanis danza tu Makila siya menende wanga ngemea nonye ni ituge kathuli wenyu. Kwa u kathuli na ya adhu mwene saa. Angayamu adhime. Kenye ngwenda onena ni kana nguiche kibila cha mbunge cha kitu sentro. Nguwene nete itie ingi na kula siya lea kwa ana. Tuwazi okianzi ya ni na kitu ngi. Kufasila. Hatu na atembeye kumu notu kitizia uuru kura. Na... CNN tu hizi hapo nukeba. Again, this time, eh, ni tuku kwa wengi tutethea ni siyo hizi kwithea ni tuwa kitu unga bala chaelite. Tuku wazia ndu thuku mite, nu thuku mite. Lakini, tu hizi umieba na bala wapo nukele. <laughs> Ndiyo kubua, nina kubua ya dhome. Nye ni wakili. Haino wano mwalimu wako wa Mr. Mutambu. Azome this is history in Charles Luanga. Oh, sorry. Mr. Mutambu, thank you so much. Na naikuwe kaa loo, ni wakili lobi. Na ni mubea muno, mundu wake kala kwa na mwalimu wake. Na hivyo mwano nge tungia mwalimu wake mubea, kutungia mubea kwa my good teacher Mr. Mutambu. Kila kiba ni ngumukulia, ene vinde dhuku muna hundu mwegu wa mwishimu wa musela weta, hea COVID. Please, tuwa zeki nukei na seriousness. A month ago, nye na lusi ya my own mom. Na wasi nrelated siya mudembo. Kwa ni ngumukulia. Nundu inegwe umuwa wa kindu chundu kisa masia. Kindu keke kwa andu, suddenly. Kweza kwezi ona nduina time siya kwe kata. Three, four days. Andu wa mkwana mena 60, 70, 80 years. Mekwe kwa lue kindu chu. Kwe ngu mkulia. Please. Ethea we na mundu waku. Mkwa angu. Kano andu alo ina mundu mba. Mata bi meka li mba. Ona mikuta na te meka oke. Nundu. Kindu keke kipe tukite. Na solution no kuindarakti. Na kwekia mask, na kwa atielia siyalite. Na wala bato onda kandu kwa umale. Nundu kiena ndawa. Na kitu kitena ndawa. Baitu unuona tuwa wabuwa ya. Yesu wako ni mukristo. Katheleki museo muno. 
Lakini, kendo utapu wakiwa kena ndawa, amba kuhisi uwea. Kenda si nungi tukua atizia na mboya, wiza kwa theba asoba. Kwa hizu nguwe, gaina mwadi me, na mu tedye muno. Asante mi sana. Ne mwea sana, tuwe kuhisho the best in Ketui Central. Kwa makali wa mulu, hatongo ima nyuba wa inga hii, wae kubonoka. Nga hii wa unyuba na kautu kwa ati inga hii kila kendo kio nzeto kweka, hata iwe yeso. Kendo kenge, na sebe ee mundu ngeo kuenda kivela kia MP. Tuwe the women rep. Women rep, bae mundu kukienda, tuwe senator. Ah, daya sio nzesi nenga ne, nenda umukedia, muasio, muasio inge, dunenge uisha aifa ibrono zito dunenga ne dwezo kwa ni agogo, mwe ni muasio, nema binda onde, ni asia, ni mubaya muno, undwa mnyo na kuata, ni ete polisi ya kuwa muasi, wa bwana wise man kaduli, ni asia binda ya muisuto kama ni na kwa ya mbondoni, bando na ina kamiti ingu kutoka tu kangu. Na deku nwa na hula au ndanzi neza Wede ingu ndo mwemi ule iti Na hundu Ndai na maira neza Lakini mwe iti muzio Hamudhu mwisi ebinda yake Kwa hune asia this is a man Who had lived his life And this surely was a blessed man The Bible Biblia ya asia Mewe kwa mamu ni mamu wati ya Baka kabulini Ni asia mutumiusu ya na imusio Nundu wa mokuzi ya lato kwa ba Kendo kia keli ngu asia Na unga mabuta aspirant wa kivila kia senate 2022 na mtu nge buwana ziye ne nyumubea mtu wadu nenge mwanyosu tunayendiyo wandu wangi na tuwa tuwika aspirant tuwe nena na tuwa uma takwa ni umetwe muno tanguzia unakamundi ya ziku usia kusabata aa kwa hui mubea nienda kwa asia diyo nena muno tonye teto pole siya kwa na nguwa asia mwaka wa 2017 Ngombe hitu kabo ya nini siye. Na ni asia prior to that. Kwa mika mea neza. Ba kwa buwana honorebo forma seneta musila. Na kila mundu kukita yu wabikia wa ikalila. Na kila ya nini siye. 2017. Tuwa mepithia. Wa andu ba asanga. Tizika na imu kuwa taagi. Ya kila ya asia iye. Lakini no hikama wa. Nisa wasawa. Kwa uwe dhendo wabikia wa ikalila. Manyi ngombe hikuna wa ikama wa. Na kuma i request Tani mundu wa mwika nga likwe Una kuhuni kuwete mkwa hiyo ni iwe Hizi ni instrumentsi ya power tiyo kuu Ni enda tutungwe kabo wa hitu nga likwe Tuka mae Tuhusa apula ege iya Nisa wasawa Nani asia buwana siye nene ya mention Kano kuu I mean utongwe Uma kwa nga hitu nenga nawe And that is The same statement I would want to repeat I might look young Before many people and I'm sure many people are even wondering how will this man make it in the whole of Kitui County. But surely I have the purpose, I have the will, I have the capacity to deliver because I am inspired and above all I'm trusting the Lord. And we believe in God doing miracles. So, campaign. So what I'm requesting from, from you is prayers and support when that time comes. Nangwa siya ti, siya 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 ndaye kumu ingi west. Ukwete ya ndu ime kuendo buwa na muno. That is not the way politics is done today. We better sober up. Kona hitha wana kipe lakia governor, kana kia MP, kana kia MCA. I think these people, a majority of them are learned lot, and you cannot sway them by abusing the other opponent. So may God bless you. Na imo bea muno, na iba neni weki idhungu, na nezo kwele niki neni. God bless you so much. We will meet at that time. Thank you so much. Nani ya naunda kinyete mshukuti. Thank you very much.
Mwemu vya na imseke Kwe mwendo kwe jakive la kia ngava na Toma ngava na tui president Kwe the law uro akwatie kombetita Kana kalonzo Ne mwemu sana piu Aspirants ne mwemu Nundu wa Kwete mwemu wa musie ni una kwete okia kisio Ni mwe kwa atisi ya all the best Ine atisi ya kivila na ine zeke kau Kau Ni kwa ati inga hii kindu kia mbe Na mwuko na ziyaza zia mwuko Wako na ziyaza zia mwuko Ndunge ine ama ile nji nundu wako uma mwundunge Anyway, that was a way of just a device in you Tanea hivyo na ntanivo Tose, hivyo nda hitu tunge nga hii mwvea mwenene piu Nundu wa utune nge tatawi itu Miaka miongo mwanza ne tano Na ala mutezi Ndunge wangati Ulozi ya ito mwa mutezi wangati Masi ya nizwe na uswe wakadhuli No uswe wa nani wa nani vano hafa Kwa unye ni atavizwe kendo kiu Ni hafa Francis Uno komete va Na kadhuli my best friend actually We grew together We worked and actually we interacted in so many occasions together. On a vision ni yangu na kapu. Ya umaniye na maleti na kathuli. My good friends. Kathuli kazi ni wakwa. Ondo ya mutavia ala mutesi. Kaunye. Ondo mkwewa mkwete wa itosu ni wangkwewa. And let me say sincerely. We differed sharply with my dad, but I always respected him. Kaduli, nene yapa, vano Francis, dani support. Nene amukuli ziyo support ya kwa, politically. Hambe yapa, niwe zondo tutie ni yake tunge. He was a very honest and straightforward person. Oh, tabia kendo. Eta kiziko kiziko Na itwe thile andumamu the mbosu Wete kila kendo undu keta wa Na weke kila keka wa undu keka wa Na thile andu tonya wa zi andu ditonya So that is one facho I will ever live to respect this gentleman here He was a very straightforward person Na honest Nye ni wambatie support ya political Lakini na ke, kazi ni wakwa, ma the opposite in direction. And always young blood wins. Tata, akwete kitunge, na ke Patrick, akwete CNN. Na tuwa zi, tuwa zi nda atumea. Na imu vya sana piu, nundu wa that support. Nye vya ondoge, ndo nyaika. Andu mamu ingiwe sitaika kumudhu kuma Police station ine mini ye Ndai ni ngoo ila Hava nanua we nguna amana Wazi andika adhela It is there glittering For nini musuani And many more projects are coming Let me take this opportunity As a area member of parliament in a special way to thank our dear president. Alandu meto wa Thomas. Muta ikea. Ila. Lelu 192 kilometers. Sina adhele. Ithio watulia. We lost hope. And everybody lost hope. But today. Our dear president. Uru mwingai kinyata. Gave us hope. Nitu newe 3.1 billion to complete this road from Tulia, Mbaka Mbondoni. And there is no doubt official work we will start in August. Mweyuno na contractor no ni promise ite. Kila kendu kio onze ni kukweke ka. Ezi ito aneasa na ya mwana na ya beba mudhew. Mwakwa atiakau. Mwano yiku tungu langwe 
mwa koma mwiboe aika na kaka ka kinyata ume nye edhila uru no tunengie lelu ngaina mwadhime na ritaya ya kendike edhila ya madhina no ndu etwa kuma 1963 na sasa hiko si ndu ila inge itu kuende ya kweka na ne mwadhanye udho kumimoseo ute na mauntu mengi ne mwadha mugo na adho kumimangai mwende kutuboya project hii nene tuende equitya ngaya bingu wae miango kila mudhenya si uke mwingi west basa reitu mina ni ayo ni wae mwakenge tuendika oneka I will never and I promise in front of you I will always remain faithful and I will efficiently effectively and economically use your resources wisely nikaenda imupikia I will make sure basa resu nikafikia kila mwana na ikiwa kitu mimi na strict this time round 45 million ga mwana ndika na ga metole kia kilo bizini wa chief mwana kule 90 ya basari so no doubt by me all the children the students will meet the ambassadors in their respective schools with those few remarks kadhuli mutuo na metao feel comforted thank you so much i gathered a lot of courage neze nyoko mwithe ya muya but you are so strong na ndina doubt tatatia and umato nyo tongwe ya muziu kaluma piu mam mwende wena ngomba ovo in patrick in mutuo na metao don't worry god will take care of the rest ni kuboya ngai akunenge umesio na nduma mwingi wa estimonze mind yo kia kisukukia kisia na kuiga we kwa ati wonze kula we kula kuingai rest in peace dad amen tok thank you very much ni wani na kalwadi kaingi kende to na umea muno kai na wai na ndie kikisio mwinde thesie am one of the worst tenants tena yani tu sauti wa kwa tena ndo ila mose to kaina na laika tune to kaina na laika kuye tune to kaina na laika kuye tune na yesu mwene ni wakasu haleluya yesu haleluya Alleluia Yesu alleluia Alleluia Yesu alleluia Na Yesu mwene ni woka sumbi kukonge ah, tukoendezia mbola tata ni aende kwina na like tune mwike makie nonki rest in peace thank you Uh, the area mc uh, mpa oh, sorry for the slip of the tongue na ningu mutungi ya mobea ningwenda to the to the uh, provincial administrators the chief the sub chiefs uh, chief twinake nikaenda to me no nduzu tunenge kanisa is the area uh, uh, chief around uh, ningu ona kilao ni ku yake ukite ini kene mukene takwa thank you karibu sana uh, you will speak on behalf of the provincial administration and then thereafter uh, uh, someone to move vote of thanks then call the church ya yeah, uh, kupitia kwa mheshimiwa wetu na jamii ambayo imeachwa na marehemu wangeni wote kutoka mahali popote pale katika nchi yetu ya Kenya ningependa kuwasalimu nyote 
kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, uh, nataka kusema ya kwamba ah uh, office kwa niaba ya administration na leta rambi rambi setu kwa jamii ya marehemu ango kadhuli na niseme ya kwamba Mungu hawafarinchi na awe nanyi wakati huu na hautie ngufu uh, kadhuli kwa administration naweza kusema ya kwamba alikuwa mtu mzuri na alikuwa mtu mpenda amani na kuwa uh, anataka watu watengane alikuwa anawaleta pamoja na kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya chief area chief na uh, administration yote nataka kusema ya kwamba tumempotesa mtu wa maana Mungu na ilase roho yake mahali pema uh, kile kingine nataka kuwakumbusha ni ya kwamba tuko wakati ambao nchi yetu imekumbwa na janga la corona naomba kila mmoja mali popote pale akaweze kufuata masharti yale ambayo yamewekwa na wizara ya afya na sile directives ambazo tumepewa na ili kila mmoja wetu akaweze kuwa salama Mungu awambariki nyote Asante sana the Jini Sabchiv ama ni chief Sabchiv wa area karibu sana uh, ningetaka kuita Mbive Mwaniki ili so that he may move the vote of thanks Somebody told me it is not giving it is moving Come and move the vote of thanks Eh, Alumanga hii Kuzi lakula kwa mwezmi waitu Ene muziu Na ae ni maitu kuma kwa na zionzi Si ina Si anzi Mwe di wani umukeja mea zio Mea zio ingi Yangu ni kidogo tu Kwa majini na ito jafe di bibi mwaniki Na ninye ni nae mwene kibila wa andua Wa Kitu kiki tukali tiba Kia kwa niki ndu gini ni muno Kia kwa azia Thank you so much Mubea muno Nienda kwa azia u Kwezila Kula kwi atongo yonde Hedi mose u Nandu alama na atute the easy Kia the geeky up Mutumio kwa medo hao ito wa Francis Nye kwa kwa andu maitu ni umei mubea muno Nundu atute the easy Kima waso Kimbeza Kuna kia devices Nikenda wede Kitu wa kwa ata kwa tenia Kia thiki kina ya tiwene nga hiki ya Francis Na kwa kwa Ni mobea Nundu ingwana Kia thini tukunie neza Na kienda ya na uzala Nenda kwa zi yao Ndalama na umize mbeza Alama tana hatu na nge kindu Ndalama na aswa na iye Mobea wa nzenu mabikie Na hindi mobea mnene mno Uudhi kula kwe Bwana kitu ungi mbenati Kia theki kikundi kieneza nundu wake Nasia nasia mutumio Nundu Mundulo taenda haki ya thini Ndatoa haki ya thini Na nundu kimazi nuna haki ya thini Nuna hatu yu kia thini Sia nasia kimazi ni mbute sineza Nito yu kia thini Na hitu yu onze nundu tuwa zio kwa angai Toka na tuwa tezezia Kia thini ya zio kunienda kwa zia Mupa kakutu hii Hito tiye liye bandu ba nini Na nungu mwezo wa adumi ino gelie Hiti nguwazi ya nye kia kwa ni mwubea mwono Kwa nduwa onze alama tutelele izi Kwa nduwa ya mwusuwa ni Sublocation na migwa ni onze Kwa u kwa kwa nyini umei mwubea Na mwe nuka Mwe nuke neza tandu Mwubi keneza Nanga yeo mwutele ya Na mwabika mwuke thanya mwazi ya Kia thiki mwukie Mwukie mwede ya kia na mwumetele Na ima mwutu ungea mwubea Na ndini wato ungea tonya kwa zia Ateo kwa zia ni mwubea mwono Thank you so much Thank you very much Mbive Mwaniki 
uh, for moving the vote of thanks. Kwa kilo mwe uitwe uwe. Na ke ose lele kumabau atutu. take this opportunity to thank everyone for your audience and the opportunity to minister to you. May God bless you. Thank you. Michael Monyasia. Remain there. Remain there. <laughs> Our beloved family and our Dear mourners, na amu kio kia kisha endwa. It is important as we go to lay the body of the late to the grave. Pe bata elatu di kuiyamuyo wa mototi wa wito mbuani. To share the words of God from First Thessalonians. To kaisa ni ende to yangai kumebukunia the soloni kawambe. Chapter 4 from verse 13. Kilungu niki akana kuma mustali wa ekumi na We have no other source of encouragement. Tuin and detro in kanao bandubangi ba kwe nenge we kwatio. Except from the word of God. Ateo kwa and detro yangai. And these words are very relevant in the occasion we are in. Detro ino nisiai lite ibinda nitaetui. But I would not have you to be ignorant. In the anaza tuikwenda mule kumanya uboa alama koma. Concerning them which are asleep. Kumanya uboa alama koma. But that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. Nikenda mutike the wena kimako ta ala angi matena we kwatio. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so them also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him? Nundu e, the one to quit the killer, can I yes or no, a queer, na other you can ingi, or tao, now alarm a comet, and then you are yes, gay, a kamae teba monake. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Nundu o nitu mutabi ya kondu wa ndeto ya mwe. Kana ithie ala tuithayo. Ala tukatia la kubika kuka kwa mwe. 
Tuika matongo esia nongi alama komie. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Nikwithia mwe imwene akadhea kumetuni, na wahasia motolu, na wahasia wa mulaika munene, na so wangai, na alama kuyende ni wa kilisto, makadhaayu ukambe. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Na endi itina ivye ala tuidhayu, ala tuatia lile, tuka avulua, vamo nao madhoeoni, kumudha wa mwe ya 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 ni, na otu kethi wa vamo na mwe itine, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Today we shall lay to rest the body of our dad, Francis Kimanzi. But we have hope of resurrection. He has only slept from his hard labor. But when the time is come, the Lord will come down from heaven with a great sound like the trumpet of an angel. That sound we will go this way. Was your soul? And I tell you, those who will be in their graves, will rise fast. Those who slept in Christ will rise fast. And will be given new bodies which do, which do not die which cannot decay which cannot be hindered which can never get sick then those who will be alive in Christ when he comes back we have heard the Bible say these ones Francis among them will be changed and those who will be alive will be raptured and I told you the need to prepare for the rapture on that day reports will go around that we are wondering people who have reduced so much in the whole world a pilot will be on his way from South Africa to Europe and will be caught up with the others in the air on the plane will have no pilot and those who will also be in Christ will find their way out and will be caught up together with the others the rapture is the hope of every Christian Resurrection is the hope for every Christian. If Christ never resurrected, we would be the most disparate kind of people. Because if we die, that would be the end of us. But thank God, the time of rejoicing is coming. When we shall meet our Lord in the air, that is the expectation of every Christian. We are only going to plant this body where he is going to be laid it will be a resurrection ground so I would like to ask each one of you and especially 
the family come forward here as I make this final prayer here and I request the pastors to surround them maintaining the social distance as we dedicate them to the hands of the Lord and I kindly ask them to remember that when Moses died God announced his death and he said to Joshua my servant Moses is dead arise now take these people to the promised land that I promised to their forefathers and then he told Joshua have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage fear not be not dismayed as I was with Moses so will I be with you I see two people here who are directly delegated this responsibility our mom Mary Mwende and our brother Patrick Kaduli. Since these people must reach the destination, don't accept to drop the button. Take it with courage. Take it with confidence. Take it with authority. Forge ahead with power. And these are the words that we are told Joshua. This book of the law should not depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Then you will be successful and prosperous. To lead this family to lead the family ask the Lord for his guidance ask the Lord for his guidance if Joshua did not fail Patrick and Mary you will not fail God will be your defender. He will be your guide. He will be your provider. See him as the omnipotent God. God who is all powerful. See him as the omnipresent God. Who is everywhere at the same time. See him as the omniscient God. The God who knows everything I'm sure he will not fail you And I can guarantee you Just as you had written That many pastors are your friends Don't discontinue that friendship And we shall also promise to be available So we want to pray I ask the servants of God to raise their hands towards you and our everlasting father we dedicate the family of Francis Kimanzi Kaduli into your able hands praying that you may care for them that you may provide for them that you may guide them in every decision and that your presence may be with them forevermore let them never lack let them never be discouraged you are the God the Father of our Lord Jesus the God of all comfort 
Come comfort them from this trouble of the demise of their loved one. Comfort them with a special comfort, Lord. Encourage them with a special encouragement, Lord. Guide them with a special wisdom. We will link every scheme of the devil. And we declare him defeated. And we put him under our feet. Now we rise up in your power. We rise up in your wisdom. We rise up in your authority. And declare that from now this family is blessed. And they will be more than conquerors. Whatever they venture in, they will find your favor. They will find success. And they will forever more be prosperous. Give them genuine friends. Provide them with resources. Every project started by Francis. Let them complete and even do exceedingly above whatever he thought. And may your name be glorified forever. Thank you for everyone who supported this burial. Those who gave their money Those who visited Those who have prayed for them Those who have cancelled them Father remember to bless them In Jesus name we pray Amen Now we would like to ask The poor bearers to come forward And the poor bearers to come forward we will have the clergy in front. Then the family will follow immediately. And those who are in leadership. Then we can move to the uh, burial site. Na yuku
Nu mår du då? Nu mår du Technicians, one here ready, please. Uh, do the need to. Technician. Yes. Sende udah siap ni, nuseo, kau istan tu kende udah ya, soli lihat netu tu ino, siapa ni ni we, siapa ulo, kau ikan nista, ya aku lindo, nuru ni netu, siapa ta, sende pada mewa Francis, ba, netu ilawa ane ni, balu ane wambe. Kilungu, ya kumi na ita ano, si na bata mono, kito, wambi yamswa na ngo ita ano, na ili, kabinda kani ni kubenya, 
na kusalu cha uibu wa so wa mumino kilio nondo so ka uma na ku magada yuka na umbe utanangika na itu tuka liukwa nondo mubaka umbe u anangika u ikolo utanangika na uku sa u ikolo utakusa indi yula u wanangika u kabwikwa ula utanangika na u uku sa u kabwikwa ula utakusa nipo ikakitika ilande to yandi kitu kikuo niki meletwe niku kilu wabinya kui baki kuo Kukili abinya kwaku, uwe baki kuu, umuwa waku, umuwa waku kune naen, abinya wa naen mwe yao. Hindi mubea ni widuwe kwa ngai, ulau tunengai kukilia, wanduwa mwe, mwe ya iwa itu Yesu Kristo, wanduwa uwe na asa enduwa, ilulumilie mwte udhingidika, mkitanga muno mabinda honde, uyani wa mwe ya inikwiduwa, ni mwe zika na, Udini ya uwe ya kwenyu, ti kwa mana, ndini wa mwe. Mtu kuenda, tuto onye kutunga mwe kitooni. Mala wa umiendi, sika nabe mwe kwa kubi. Kwa bilwe mudanga, nangukulia, family members, mute mudanga, na mute mudanga, members of the family, members of the kilaji, mwafia. Muto nyo kuthi ya na mudanga. Nuzi otu hithi na mudango fresh. Ume tembuwa ni latu mudanga mo. Na. Tuika u. Tutumia ndeto si muambili. Nuita tuikumi ya kenda. Laiku asia u. Juhu teane yaku. Ukaisa ali u. Kubika ila ukasioka. Mudangani, nundu wikito. Tuika huu kwa kujia mudanga, mabinda, adatu, na ningu mulit, tuicha isiruwa ni asa, na ya mwana, na ya mebamudu, all the members of the clergy, na members of the close family, kindly participate in returning the body to the soil where he came from. I also request the leaders. So I'm buying in this. I can see some members of the family who are very far, even the nephews, kindly find a way and participate. No seo, fit kile kanamu. No waitu, gaini wani waile, amu dumusi, tu mwenengi imanya, adu mwe, nanga yotu na ukia kisi. Yetu kumasya, Francis, kimanzi kaduli, kito, nebala wa umie, nuru ni kito, na kutukutu wa tetele kutinyama udhaya ucho. Tuiko uyu na muamba. Situ wa ni asa. Aya mwana. Aya beba mudhimu. Amen. Kila mmoja aseme amen. Amen. Mingu enda urikwesti. Pasta. Baba hamsu wa ni AIC. Kizi ya meba. Kizi hiya. Ama kukule juu. Pasta. Musomba. Musomba. I would like you to make a prayer. The closing prayer of this session is kindly.
pamudukumu wako askovu na wako atawe ya museo na yudi tuwa na muminu kilio gaitai wano kika adwa na ume shio wako wedwe na kila umwe so kia kishio wako kilumi lili ya edwa maitu ya wekwati ya wedwe bona nda yana umea na nguma nishi yako tuita adise yuki la umwe ya tuisio kamisini yitutu ya tiosubio wako adhima ikanisa adhima kila umwe Nangaitu tethi ya ni kadatu ukeku kwa kuna da yesu onde na mubea nanguma nishako. Mungwa yesu kuiso mwe ya hii. Tuwa mwena kuikia. Amen. Amen. Nia siya technicians makuende ya. Mwa kuli kwezi kwa family. Mwa yoto kwa nyumba. Kwa nyumba. Mwa technicians maende. Mwa nangu mbukitika na kwa nangu mbukitika. So, you can go express. Atapa niya. Mungu mungu le kwanza yatu tuwe na familia ba nyumba, ma technicians maende. Muna slabs. Zake ni kisu. Okay, ni sawa. I think you said good. Ndaa tu ni. Na wenye na mama kwenye ai, kuto wa idoko mara. Kuto sisi kama mama kwenye ai, ni kisu. Why do you ask me to do this instead of? No, in fact, mimi na the family. Kana, ili mko ni kwa kwa kwa. Mina baadhi kwenye mwezi, tunenda ruti ya mina tu mbele, some of us. Okay. Polo polo. Watu watu kujenga ama kwenye ndege. Mwenye ni kukuoroga. Oh, saa kwa ndege zime kuoroga. Hmm. Tuo pata yetu mimi cha sasa. Kesha korobo ni slab tuita kile watu. Makoro e maiwa. Slab kila siku. Oh. Slab kila slab. Na zinu la zina chanzo. Ame zilinga li zilinga li zungu apa.